Right. Well, um, yeah. Not sure what is happening this evening. Just having some issues. But hopefully we can... Hopefully this has sorted it. I really don't want to be... Uh, it's just live now. I hope this is live. Uploads. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with YouTube at the minute. It's playing up quite badly. So I just want to try and delete that last video, or the last stream, basically. The last stream uh, don't really know what happened. It just decided to cease to exist. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get some people over over to this new one. Scott Davies, how you doing, man? Um, I've been having issues for like the past ten minutes trying to get my stream to work. Is this live? Lol. It's yeah. This is this is live. Um, so I was using uh, Streamlabs, but it kept crashing. Uh, the first one I was saying it was dropping frames. And it just decided to have a meltdown, and then it kept disconnecting and reconnecting me. So I'm hoping that this is a more stable connection. Um, so I was all set up and intended to stream using both my cameras, um, but looks like I'm only going to have to stream with one. So that's a bit unfortunate. One of a kind breaks. Hi, I'm in a class right now. Well, thank you for dropping in. Hopefully, we can see you a bit later. I don't intend um, doing a really, really long stream this evening. I did want to build, or I am going to be building the new Lego sets. Um, but yeah, I obviously have had issues with uh, issues with the stream. So I'm just going to copy and paste the um, my URL, or the, not the URL, well, yeah, the, the address to the stream. Um, and hopefully get some more people to join in, which would be which would be great. Uh, the class ends in three minutes. Um, perfect, ideal. That sounds good. That does. That sounds. That sounds ideal. I've just well, I don't do anything during the days anymore, other than making videos. Um, so I've been busy making a few videos today, uh, which has been yeah, really good. But yeah, may as well crack open one of these sets. Um, which sets are we building first? Well, I'm going to be building the Millennium uh, Falcon Microfighter first. So I do have three sets. So if you saw my whole video that I posted earlier, I have uh, the Microfighter Millennium Falcon. I have the Trouble on Tatooine. And I also have the Imperial TIE Fighter. Now, I only plan on building the Imperial TIE Fighter and the Microfighter Millennium Falcon because I want to build the Trouble on Tatooine on a live stream tomorrow on uh, TikTok, which I've never done a live stream before on TikTok before. But I would really like to do that. Uh, UCS Productions, hey, oh, how you doing, man? Hopefully you're doing a lot better than my streaming uh, tonight. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, had to sw switch services. Uh, your subs are shooting up, man. I know, man. It's crazy. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, I it might be TikTok. Like I've I've hit I think nearly twelve thousand. Let me double check TikTok. Uh, eleven point six thousand followers on TikTok, which is ridiculous. Like I've only had TikTok, I believe, since the twentieth of December, so not even a month, and I've gained more followers actually than UCS, and uh, not than UCS than SW. I don't know why I get you, you guys like your names modeled up. I mean, I have more followers than UCS on uh, on TikTok anyway, because I don't think he has TikTok. But uh, yeah, I have more followers now than SW. Um on tiktok which is crazy I, I don't i don't understand how that's happened but yeah it is ridiculous uh what else we got i'm nearly uh 70 subs that's decent one of kind of bricks you haven't even had your, your channel that long so that's doing really well uh, i finished building grogu this morning right before the stream started my new boost off i got the awesome that's great um, i was gonna say uh, do you think shorts and tiktoks helped definitely i definitely think that um my short that I did on TikTok, the one with Adele and the Chancellor singing to the clones. I think that's had nearly seventeen thousand views. So for a like for my channel, that's not necessarily that big. Seventeen thousand views is 
out of the park. Literally, it is crazy. So um, that has definitely helped uh, help the channel. And then a couple other ones is doing really well. Um, but yeah, TikTok is definitely the way forward. Like I'm now, I've got enough following that I've applied for the uh, the creator fund. So hopefully I can start earning some money from TikTok from doing videos over there, which would be, sorry, I'm just opening up the bags. So if I can start earning money over from TikTok, that would be great because I can then pour it straight back into buying new sets. Like this would pay, well, it'd probably <laughs> over the course of a year, it'd be enough to buy one of these uh, microfire sets, but it all helps. So yeah, that's great. I love the color of this, this green or this blue. I don't even know what you call it. It's like turquoise. That is crazy. Um, I still stand by not getting it. Fair enough, man. It's, it's you know, it's not for everyone, but um, uh i've had it since october that's not even that long man like i've had my my channel for well over a year and i've only just started really gaining some like decent subscriber uh counts recently so yeah uh, are you guys entering boxy bills mock contest probably um hi did you see my custom banther where did you post the banther lego legion also welcome to the stream uh, i don't know i literally started building the falcon i haven't even built han solo yet it, it's his it's his falcon and i don't know um he says uh, uh i'm only only because i'm worried that i'll get addicted to it i mean to be honest i am not addicted the, the only thing i will admit i'm addicted to is watching my numbers go up that's the only thing i'm addicted to like i don't really sit and watch the tiktoks themselves um i i, I kind of watch a few to get inspiration but i get bored of it very quickly because it's just very quick videos and i kind of like want to get engrossed in a video that's why i quite like live streams and things because you can kind of sit and watch someone talk for a couple of hours whereas a tiktok is anywhere up to 60 seconds so it's very you know there's a lot going on and sometimes it's too much and i just want to just like slow it right down but yeah the one number that i do like looking at is my uh, my follow account go up and my likes as well and the view count that's all stuff i really love uh love watching uh, I posted it on Saxon Lug chat. Uh, I have not. I've only just recently been on Saxon Lug to uh, post the link to this to this stream. Uh, so this is the Falcon done now. Everyone can see that this is the Millennium Falcon. We're now going to move on to the Tie Fighter. I am joking, of course not. We're <laughs> we're going to build the rest of the set, but that that is pretty much the Falcon right there. All, all we need is, I don't know, just like add that brick there, maybe. There you go. Everyone can tell that this is the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> which is crazy pta hey man how you doing uh i hope you're well uh mr comment from ucs maybe i should give it a go yeah i mean it's it's free to, to free to do you just make a couple of videos see how it does um like my first picture i sent or posted was just my uh all my clones sat in a box and that seemed to do really well like that had a, a few hundred views kind of quite quickly and then after that it just kind of like grew and grew and then it got to the point where i think my most grossed video either has just hit or is going to hit three hundred thousand. see if i can find it so my highest gross is 311.9 thousand so pretty much 312 thousand times which again i don't get how it's that many but i'm not going to complain it is it's a big confidence boost as well so yeah it's really good um what commander cody minifig do you have emg so i have the original um phase one commander cody and then i have a older clown army customs phase two uh commander cody which is like next to no leg print or like next to no printing on it is just so basic bit of leg printing bit of like i don't even think it's got arm printing it is so so basic because it's, it's quite old but I might, I might update, yeah. I might buy a newer one. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, oh, what's this way of linking all the media? Uh, so Linktree UCS is how I link all my media. So if you just like sign up to Linktree, again, it's free. If you want like just your basic layouts, um, then you can just put in all your URLs. People can click Linktree and then it kind of uh, takes people to whatever things you have so like my link tree has my instagram my youtube tiktok my merchandise which i'm, I'm wearing today if you want to go buy it you can go ahead and buy it through link tree um and then i also have a link to my patreon account as well over over there as well 
uh clips films melbourne nice to see you again how are you doing as anakin said don't get too comfortable i mean this chair is not the comfiest so i can guarantee that i won't get that comfortable because i need to get a better chair <laughs> um <laughs> i didn't know you could get funding uh either that's really cool yeah i mean i don't quite know what you get and how much you get and when you get it um but if you get over ten thousand followers and you have over i think it's ten thousand views in like a 30-day period you can apply for the creator fund um so yeah i was able to do that in basically a week week or two so that's pretty cool. RIP Christmas jumpers, definitely. They are completely out the window. Merch is in. I mean, as soon as the merch came in, I was, I was, well, I can't even say it. As soon as my merch came in, I was wearing merch the whole time. I'm going to head out and eat lunch. I was streaming later today. If you guys want to stop by. Well, thank you very much, Robert Kind Bricks, for joining in. Hopefully, we will see you very, very soon. Um, and yeah, if I'm still awake after this stream, I will see if I can come by and say hello. Um, you said, dang, EMG, that first 10 out of 10 would be 10 seconds again. I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that, but um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what's happening in my first streams. I, I've streamed like three times tonight. <laughs> I had to try to host three stream like server things. So yeah, kind of not sure what was happening with all of that. But anyway, we're streaming now. Oh, it's just Scott saying bye. I was wondering what's happening then. But how is everyone? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone had a good New Year's. I know the last time you guys saw me, so I was just trying to make sure I got the orientation right. Yeah, last time you saw me, I had uh, Mrs. EMG over, and we built baby Grogu, the child, depending on what you want to call it. But yeah, Grogu, we built uh, him together, which was really cool. He's up on my shelf now. Still need to get more shelves. But hopefully, yeah, this TikTok creator fund will actually be able to start paying for some of this stuff which would be absolutely decent or even just people buying merchandise that would also help as well you know just just saying but uh no i'm serious no it is uh yeah it's really cool being able to have my own oh, i put that on backwards yeah it's cool having my own merch i love i love wearing my face my, my <laughs> I, I wear it out and about and i've like had a couple of people look at me kind of like looking at the jumper then looking at my face thinking is is he wearing his face on his on his jumper and i'm just like yeah of course um the new sets are still unknown and there's a lot of uh mix up of, of, uh, of prequels is still unknown except ucs gunship yeah there's still a lot of um kind of mystery behind the sets they've kind of like here's the set numbers here's the prices not going to tell you what the actual uh sets are but we've we've had a couple of cons uh, like conspiracies about them or thoughts about them so uh yeah uh EMG, what are your thoughts on the new uh sets numbers prices leaks that came out yesterday so i've only seen that a couple of times uh one in a tiktok and another one i think uh solibut shido's posted it so aka david uh he posted it and he thinks it's gonna be a d an another death star that would be pretty cool if there was another death star uh, I'm still yet to buy a Death Star, but obviously I'm not rolling in money at the minute, so I can't really go out and buy loads of sets. Uh, but yeah, I think I think there'll be some good ones. Uh, I'm still yet to really see any like really good conspiracy or not. I don't want to call them conspiracies, ideas of what the sets are going to be. Um, obviously, we know we're getting the Imperial Shuttle, whether that's coming out this wave or next wave, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to getting the Imperial Shuttle. Again, I don't have one. Hence, like they were the Tie Fighter. I bought the Tie Fighter because I don't have a tie. Um, so the Imperial Shuttle is definitely one I will I will go and get. Uh, Zachary Headland, hi, how you doing, man? I hope you're well. I like Alicia. Hashtag EMG needs shells. EMG needs loads of shells. It's the fact that I can't display any of my Lego. I literally have to pack away all my Lego. So I'm still breaking down Lego from doing my father first clone army. It's uh. Yeah, it's taking a while, but we're getting there. I broke down some more. Oh, my father. My, yeah, it's my clone army. Um, but yeah, still breaking down sets from then. Um, EMG, do you think we need a 104th battle pack? I do. I mean, to be honest, I feel like we need so many different battle packs. There are so many different clone legions out there that LEGO could do. Um, I feel like we need to get a new remake of a 212 figure. 
the fact that Lego have made the uh, Father First again, I feel like they should really either remake or re-release the 212, just because they were more kind of like in the forefront of the of the Star Wars universe. Uh, sorry, I'm just concentrating on that piece, but yeah, I, I feel like any kind of any kind of Legion uh, would be would be ideal for a battle pack. But I, I really feel like they need to do like the classic old battle packs like they used to have where you get like four decent clones. I mean, the father first battle pack that we had last year and the other one's still out is, is really great, but I feel like they should do, I know they won't, but they, I want them to go back to the older ways of making Lego sets where you have like a 13 pound set and you get four great, uh, clone troopers as opposed to having to spend 25 pounds to get four clone troopers. Just to make it a bit cheaper for for army building, because otherwise it just gets very very expensive all the time. Uh, yeah, the shot is the only thing I'm excited about right now. Uh, I do have the Mando set on order though. I mean, the Mando set is great. Like, I'm really looking forward to building this. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'm not going to be building this tonight. I'm going to be building it live on TikTok tomorrow. Never done a live stream on TikTok, so I'm saving this set for that. But I will be building the TIE Fighter, but I do have uh, another Trouble on Tatooine and TIE Fighter on the way uh, from LEGO. So we'll get those built as soon as they come in. But that probably won't be for a little while. I think LEGO did say they dispatched the order, which is ideal. But however long that's going to take, I don't know. Especially with going back into lockdown now, everything's going to be so slow. Getting orders and things in, so... Yeah. I don't know when that's going to come in. Do you know Lego have a rumor that they might stop doing battle packs? I mean, is it just battle packs in the sense of the 13 pound sets? Are they just stopping 13 pound, like the third, thir yeah, the 13 pound sets? Or is it the fact that they're, ju they're just stopping army builders? Because if they're stopping army builders, then that's what, you know, why, why are they stopping army builders? But if they're just stopping the 13 pound sets and focusing more on the 20, like the 25 pound, army builders like if we had a and i'm going back to the 212 sets if they brought out a 212 uh battle pack that was a 25 pound set came with four 212 troopers and maybe like a super battle droid or, or a crab droid um and two battle droids then that would be amazing obviously you'd need something else as well unless you've got a couple of crab droids and something yeah something else because you'd have to have a walker or something you know a actual vehicle but I don't can't really picture what was in the Battle of Utapal. Other than the gunship, but they're not going to bring back the gunship, really, are they? For a battle pack. But there'll be some form of speeder or something. But yeah, if they brought that out, then yeah, I'd be I'd be game for that. I'd be game for having a Lego battle pack that's a £25 set that we class as the new battle pack as opposed to the £13 battle packs. For such a small build, there's a lot of detailed parts in it. Maybe they're going to leave the father first on the shelves for longer. Maybe. That would be cool. I mean, it would be silly for them to get rid of it. I mean, I heard a rumor that they're going to be getting rid of the father first set early. But that is hopefully definitely going to be a lie. Because why would they get rid of like their best seller? It just wouldn't make sense for LEGO to do that. Wow, they have these. Why would you need these on such a small set? Don't really know. That doesn't even go there. Why does not oh, that goes there? Um, we have uh, Lady Akbar right there. Uh, look sick. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Fearless. I can't even read the rest of that. Fearless. Ash do is it hopefully I said that right thank you very much I appreciate the support all the support means absolutely the world especially with these difficult times at the minute it's really good to know that there's people out there supporting me and wanting uh wanting success because it feels like no one else does I mean not no one else in terms of like you guys I mean like getting getting and finding work just no one's getting back to me so basically i just have all the time in the world for making making youtube videos uh i think you might be able to have a merlin falcon or 8080 set uh um, 
What do I do? I have any of them? I mean, I used to have the Millennium Falcon, the Episode Seven one, then I got rid of it because I wanted to save up for the UCS one. But then I spent that money on other things, which I needed to spend the money on uh, more practical things. Um, and then I do not have an eighty eighty, but I would love to have one. Is on my bucket list of sets I'd like to get. But again, I don't have any shelves to store them, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, there we go. PTA back with um, Lady Akbar. So I've got them for Xmas. Awesome. I'm that is that's a good haul to be honest. Those are some good sets to get. What are you talking about? The UCS Falcon or just one of the uh, smaller Falcons? Because if you've got both of those for Christmas, that is ridiculous. If you go to the UCS Falcon and the AT AT. But if you're just talking about the uh, the smaller Falcon, then that makes a bit more sense. But still a great haul anyway. Yeah, I just got the uh, General Grievous Starfighter for Christmas. And then bought myself Grogu. Because I really wanted him. That is a cool piece, actually. That's a cool idea. Ah, that goes on top of that. I see. Uh, the one with the black. Carly uh, Wren on the box. I think I know the one you mean. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, still, that's still cool. That is still a cool little haul to get. And then, is this all the leftover parts? There's quite a few leftover parts here. Well, we have... Built the microfiber, almost built the microfiber. If I can get these stupid studs, get the microfiber Millennium Falcon. There's a little overlook. And as always, my lighting in my room is so atrocious for live streams. I really need to get my new desk. But again, I need the I need the funds for that. Uh, Cooking Break Studios. Hello, hey man, how are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't stay too long for your stream last night. I really started falling asleep. Um, never got to know, find out what your secret project was. Um, I saw the base plate, saw the little strip tease you did of it, uh, but I just fell asleep straight after that. So uh, unfortunately, I did not find out what your uh, your secret project was. I'll have to go back and rewatch it and skip to the end and find out. Uh, I really want a twenty-five pound Imperial battle pack with one scout trooper, one snow trooper, two storm troopers instead of uh, two builds of Imperial troop transport. Like the Rebels and the Mandalorian. Yes. Lego Legion, that sounds really good. I was never really into the original trilogy sets a huge amount. Um, I, I've got quite a few of them from when I was a kid because it was more my dad buying them for me. But I'm very much into the, like, the Clone Wars. But I feel like at the minute, I really... I think probably since the Mandalorian came out, seeing the Imperials, I'm kind of like, ooh, these sets are amazing. Um so yeah, like getting the TIE fighter, getting the Imperial shuttle, like they do look pretty cool. I do have the old X Wing, so I, I but I've got the new one on order. It's coming in as soon as Lego get it to my house. So like I'm getting I'm getting the X Wing. Uh, I've got the TIE fighter sat with me. I've still got the this one sat with me, and this one's not out yet. But as soon as it does come out, I will be ordering that. But yes, yeah, so that was this little uh, this little bad boy getting back in the box. I was watching so watching someone's video the other day. It might even be in a TikTok earlier, and he was like, "I hate the fact they have the rip tabs." Well, I never use them. I just cut them open, and then although I did manage to hack this bit open by accident, but normally you can hack it open so it's literally as if you just opened the box, like magic, or removing the glue. So uh, yeah, that's the first little set. Well, uh, now we'll move on to the big boy. There we go. Quick little overview. Um, is it just me or have you seen the Clone Wars series um, three times? Um, more than three. Yeah. I mean, I will. I, I am. I was going to say I was really obsessed with the Clone Wars. I still am obsessed with the Clone Wars. So I used to have the Clone Wars DVD box sets bought for me every year. Every season they came out, I would... Uh, get the get the clone wars box set so what i'd do is i'd watch them all on cartoon network and then i would get the season one uh box set and then 
but just before Christmas, I would, well, the next Christmas, I would re-watch season one and then I'd get season two and I'd binge watch season two. And then when, you know, the next year, when season three came out, I'd watch one and two and then watch three. And then when four came out, I'd watch one, two and three and then four uh, and so on and so on. I'd, I'd literally re-watch the whole thing. Um, I pretty much know the first episode of season one, Ambush. Like, word for word, if it's on, I can just reel it off. I don't know if you guys have seen... Um, I am legend with Will Smith and he's like quoting Shrek. I'm pretty much like that. It is. Yeah. Pretty much word for word. What, what I'm talking about. So hopefully I've done this right. Using the knife, I've opened up the box without even really ripping it. So that's ideal. So this is pretty cool moment. Cause I've never actually owned a TIE fighter. So this is my first actual ever TIE fighter. And I know it's a bit smaller than the other ones, but I still feel like it's going to be an amazing build. So I'm just going to move the box behind the other box. So it's actually quite a hefty set of instructions. So that would be cool. We'll get through to that. I'll just get back to the comments for a second. Uh, I'm on last season till, uh, till three. That's, sorry, four. That's decent. Uh, what's your favorite type of Lego? Uh, definitely Star Wars, Matt. Um, I also forgot to say hello to you as well, Matt. So hello, thank you for joining. Um, but yeah, definitely my favorite type of Lego is Star Wars, 100% Star Wars. Um, and then probably next to Star Wars, I would probably say Technic. I'm quite a sucker for the Technic sets. They are pretty amazing. Um, yeah, uh, separate note, uh, that is a good set. I'll consider getting it. Definitely. Um, do you like the new movies? This is the new Star Wars movies, like episodes seven, eight, nine. I like them. I'm not a massive fan of them, but again, it's Star Wars, so I'm not. I'm not gonna like hate on it too much because I'm just happy that there's more Star Wars content. Like, I'm the kind of guy that would literally like buy anything that's Star Wars. So you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's one of those kind of things. So like, I do like it, but. It's not my favorite. I definitely prefer the prequels and the original trilogy over over the sequels. But yeah, I'm not going to hate on it as well. Uh, Lego Legion. I modded the new uh, uh, 8080 to have two floors, upgraded speeder storage, uh, and a power cell room. Uh, and its exterior is exactly the same. It still looks great. That sounds pretty cool. That does sound amazing. Uh, you should see the 8080 uh, if you think that's that's big instructions. I mean, probably the Millennium Falcon would have even, or the UCS Falcon would have even bigger instructions. But I just thought for like a 35 pound set, that is a pretty decent set of instructions as well. Master Builder 42. Hey man, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, built the what first little set so far. We have the little microfighter Millennium Falcon, looking pretty cute. I, I do actually really like it. I like I like its little engines. I like the details on it. And it just makes me want to have the UCS Falcon even more now. But who knows if, you know, if TikTok does really well, I may be buying one very soon. I'm not quite sure how TikTok works with their uh, with their money, like the monetization, but we'll wait and see. Also still waiting for Vimto to sponsor me as well. That would be that'd be great if they could. <laughs> uh I built the tie a few days ago uh, before Christmas whilst watching your stream. As I got it early, it's a great build. Yes, Lego Legion. I remember you sent me pictures of it. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I bought it as well. The fact that you showed me it. And I was like, actually, the proportions aren't terrible. Like, I thought they were going to be really, really small. I think as people were like hating on it before it was really released, uh, I was kind of just like, mm, I don't really want anything to do with it. But then you showed me the pictures and I'm like, actually, it's looking pretty good. Um,. Well, I'm saving for the Death Star. Oh, is this the new like Death Star or the Death Star that's currently out? Because I don't know if that's discontinued yet or if it's uh, going to be discontinued soon. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you'll find out. Um, I kind of think that I'll, I'll get it. How much is the tie? So this tie is thirty-five pounds. Uh, so it's not actually too bad either. I think the last one was like fifty pounds, possibly. So £35 for this TIE Fighter is not terrible. 
I mean, it still looks like a tie for me. It, you know, it saves me 15 pounds. So, um, like, I would rather have the older one, but I just really wanted to get the new one. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to go watch the whole video, then come back. Not a problem, Master Builder 42. You ha have a shout out on that as well. Uh, and I've also linked your um, your bios uh, or the, the link to your accounts in the description as well. Apex Build, sup? How you doing, man? Thank you for joining. I feel like I need a, a little catchphrase when people join the stream. But it would be... Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I would say. It's kind of like something name related so that'd be cool uh <laughs> blam the micro fighter hey how you doing simping spartan hope you're well uh and i mean to be honest it's, it's a cheap little build and plus it is pretty cute so i, I quite like it um i have a new oh awesome uh the old one is much better kind of agree with you on that and spartan uh i got 134 awesome Word Spartan is much better, definitely. Um, how much uh was the set you're currently building? So this this Tie Fighter is thirty five pounds, and this one I think the standard micro fighters go for about eight pound, nine pound, possibly nine pound. So uh, yeah, thirty five and nine, so not too bad. I heard to go over there. Heard COVID are getting bad again. Yes, COVID is getting pretty bad. Um, over here we are in well back into complete lockdown again, and. I'm pretty sure that they said that in a, like a week's time, the hospitals will be completely like overcapacitated with, um, I don't even know if that was a word, overcapacitated. Like they're at capacity now, but they'll be, they'll have too much in a week's time if like the COVID cases are still rising. Um, like they will not physically be able to cope with how many people are in hospitals. Um, and like most of the staff are having just mental breakdowns because there's just too much going on right now. So yeah, it's not doing it's not doing too well. Um, EM high G. Mm, I think that could be worked on Lego Legion, but at least it's you know at least it's a uh, it's an effort made. I just thought I'd let you know that my next auction uh, is on the twenty second of January. Awesome. Well, I probably won't have any money for that, but who knows? We might be making some more purchases in the next auction. Who knows? um what else uh, anyone who hasn't uh already please check out uh my instagram master builder got loads of stuff so yes exactly go check out master builder 42 he's had a had an auction the other day which was pretty amazing um i managed to buy i think 12 b1 battle droids and 10 father first clone troopers so that was a nice addition to my collection as well uh Bah, 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 bah. I'm in national lockdown, so I can't go to school. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it is it is celebration, but I don't know if you have online learning. I, 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 don't, I don't know what years the government's doing in terms of schooling. Uh, I'm long out of school, so I do not know. Simming Spartan, so much homework. Unlucky man. Matt Hammond, when I start a channel, I'll give you a shout. Thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate it. Likewise with you, if you start your own channel, I will give you a mention and a shout out and get people to head over and subscribe to you as well, uh, which would be crazy. Uh, online, I'm primary. Uh, primary school, wow. Uh, primary schools do online, really? I mean, primary school, I thought they would just let you go out and play. So, yeah. <laughs> Because I know that like year year twelves and stuff and people doing it like proper GCSEs and A levels and things. I think a lot of that is all online. But my mate's doing university and he's doing sports something or other. I don't actually know the name of his. I know he gets a bachelor of science out of it, but uh, I'm gonna move these bags sideways just so I have more space to actually work. Uh, yeah, he's doing like a bachelor of science sports degree thing, and obviously most of that is practical. However because everything's locked down he can't actually do his practicals so i don't quite know how he's actually going to be able to do his degree if he can't um if he can't do his online stuff so yeah crazy google classrooms definitely matt gotta go to bed see you thank you very much for stopping by matt hopefully you have a great night's sleep uh and hopefully we'll see you very soon in another video or live stream uh university online sucks yeah i imagine it does i imagine anything online sucks like any form of learning 
Like I don't I don't mind doing work from home. Like working from home is not not a bad thing. But yeah, I would not like to be doing classrooms from home. It would just be it'd be horrible because you can't ask your teacher anything. Like you can't ask for help. Like if you're working from home, I mean, it depends what your job's doing. Like, you know, if you're a, I don't know, a wedding dress designer and maker, then you kind of need your, you know, the person who's having the wedding. I mean, wedding dress was a bad one because you don't really have weddings. But like if you're making a website, you can quite easily back, you know, send emails back and forth between the customer. But if you need, if it's like a hands-on thing, then you, there's no way of you being able to do it over the internet. You physically need to see the person in person. Um, but yeah, I've had three meetings a day uh, and seven pieces uh, a day at primary. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. I've just had Lego building, Lego reviewing, and Lego stop motioning. Basically, basically what I've done. Brick Pigeon, hello there. How you doing, man? Long time no see over on the channel. Hope you're well. Hopefully you're up to lots of cool pigeony stuff. Hope your all pigeon friends are fine. I mean, they must be loving lockdown, you know, the fact the streets are empty and, you know, they can just roam wherever they want. They ain't got humans trying to stand on them. <laughs> uh, I, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, but Per Knudsen, I, I'm sorry if I completely mutilated that name then. Have you built the new Ninjago sets? So unfortunately, well, I'm not unfortunately, I, I'm not into Ninjago, so I have not built any of the Ninjago sets. Um, there have been a few sets probably have piqued my interest over the years, um, but I'm not a Ninjago fan, so I haven't bought any. Um, what about you? Have you built uh, the new Ninjago sets? What are your thoughts on them? Because uh, I know that Lego have been doing, I think, some crazy things at the minute with Ninjago as well. Um, it's like, EMG, <laughs> you are so lucky. Why am I lucky? Uh, please explain that. Is it because I don't have school? <laughs> is, that, is that why I'm lucky? Um, when I'm doing online learning secondary school, uh, we all go on calls uh, so we can ask for help. I get that, but then, you know, there's people having internet issues and then you know, everyone's butting into one another and it must be hard for the teacher to kind of control everything. Plus then you have all the background noises of everyone at home as well. Like you have, you know, someone might have pets, dogs or whatever and they're barking or... I don't know. You have a parrot that likes to sing or something. I, I I don't know, but that must be that must be a challenge as well. Uh, PTA, hello, back I am. Um, good to see you back, PTA. Uh, Apex builds gotta go. Stay safe. Yes, see you soon, Apex. Hope you stay safe as well. And yeah, hopefully see you soon, my man. Uh, per Alain Ninjago. Awesome, awesome. That is a good hobby to. Well, I was going to say good hobby. Uh, the Ninjago sets are a good. One. I mean, all Lego's good. I don't have any issues with any of the Lego sets. I mean, I, I disagree with some of the sets sometimes. You know, either the price of them or the design of the set. I feel like Lego could have done it better, but I don't. I don't really have any issue with any Lego sets. Uh, um, Sack. I go to bed at nine so I can stay. Awesome, man. That's an, at least another hour. If you're, especially if you're in, in, in the UK, then that's another hour. If you're like France or Spain, where it's an hour ahead, then yeah, you know, you've only got a few minutes. Um, Scott, I'm back. I uh, had to turn on the news. Not a problem, Scott. Hopefully the news is all right. Um, your chat is looking pretty modless. I know. Where are all my mods at? Literally, I, I'm feeling betrayed by the mods. I mean, Scott's back now, so that's all right, but. Yeah, I've got so many mods, but like barely any of them turn up to my streams anymore. Um, I know a way to waste money. Yeah, keep buying Lego. <laughs> um, well, right when Scott sends a message, definitely, bro. Scott, I said definitely. Uh, get the ATOT and dropship. I've already got the ATOT and dropship. It's sat in the other room. I missed two pieces off this thing. So yeah, I mean, I could get a second ATOT and dropship. That would be definitely a, a waste. Well, not a waste of money. It'd be a good investment. If you can get it cheap. If you can get it cheap enough, then it's a good investment. Uh, I guess some uh, protesters breached security at the US Capitol. Uh, whoa, did they? Uh, that's serious. Um, I need more <laughs> mod Spartan. I want more. Fair enough. <laughs> but I know I shouldn't. Are you, are you just quoting my... Uh, 
<laughs> quoting my TikTok that I made <laughs> with Anakin. Uh, Simming Spartan, I want mod. I mean, you don't just demand mod Spartan. That's that's not how politics works. You don't just go around demanding things. I mean, to be honest, in all fairness for your defense, you have been fairly loyal in the past few live streams. So you're on, you are on your way to uh, earning mod, essentially. I don't have mod on any channel. Do you not Spartan? Not even on TBCs. Has he not made you mod? Because I pretty much, every time I go to... TVC stream. I pretty much see you there all the time. Uh, my brain just exploded. Finding a piece. There we go. Um, have you seen Mandalorian? Yes. Of, of course I've seen the Mandalorian. I'm going to build this tomorrow live on TikTok. Um, if my second one comes in, I will build it on YouTube, but I want to save that one for TikTok tomorrow. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to be yeah saving that one for, for TikTok. Ah, the piece was turned upside down. That's why I couldn't find it. Lego Galactic means isn't uh, Lego hasn't made the minifigures of the year. Uh, that's the final Clone Legion. Okay, that's an interesting thing to know. Uh, I've just had a mental breakdown sometimes and yells at everyone. I know Spartan. It's okay. We'll, we'll let you off. I mean, I think every 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 now and then everyone needs to kind of have a bit of a bit of a breakdown. It's fine. Uh, uh, what we have? Uh, I have it on zero. YouTube is the best. Bit confused with that one, Zach. Not sure what you're on about. Uh, do you know uh, the land Denmark? Do I know the land? What, the, the country Denmark? Do I know Denmark? Well, I know that's where Lego comes from. I know that's where the factories are. And the well, factories, but like the design studios. I know that's where all of that is. Um, hashtag Lego Legion from what? Yes, better than TikTok. YouTube is oh, okay. YouTube is better than TikTok. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm doing. I'm just doing TikTok for a while. Uh, uh, what do you think about the Mandalorian? I think it was amazing. I think it was a really good TV show. I'm really looking forward to uh, to season three and what they're going to do. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. The fact that I mean, it's, it's been long enough now. We can definitely talk about it. Um, the fact that Mandalorian now has the Darksaber, which means he's basically, like, he's entitled to rule Mandalore. But Bo-Katan is more or less the rightful ruler. So she's either going to have to, A, like, have a duel with the Mandalorian and win, like, fight for the Darksaber, or she just marries him. But I think that's the two options I've I've looked up and read about for her to get the dark saber so it'd be interesting to work out what path they go down with that um but also the fact luke has taken grogu like are we going to see luke more now and is that is that the end of grogu will we see grogu again so yeah there's, there's a few questions right now right now that i have on my mind uh i'm a flex uh the channels i have mod <laughs> big boy of flex right here definitely broke pigeon definitely uh, yeah, I heard about uh, Bo Marine Jin. Yeah, definitely. It's, I mean, it's one of the one of the possibilities that we could get. Like in it, like she needs to do the dark saber, and there's only like one of two that I know of. One of two ways that uh, she can get it. Please don't spoil it. I haven't got to the end of the episode. Luke got Grogu. Uh, I'm sorry if I spoiled it for you, but yeah, it's been out for a little while. But I do apologize if I'd ruin that. I mean, also the, the fact that if you didn't know that, how have you managed to avoid spoilers for this long? Like I was being inundated with spoilers since like the day the, the thing came out. I had to watch it more or less straight away. Otherwise it, it just got ruined for me. But it's impressive if you managed to go this long without spoilers. Uh... If they got married, they could have Grogu as their, their uh, yeah, definitely. She's like 25 and she's like 50. <laughs> Sugar mama, definitely. Ooh. UCS Productions back. How you doing, man? How so true. Did you never leave? Were you always here? You were just silent. Were you, are you in the shower again? <laughs> Is that what's up? Are you just voice texting on your, on your phone from the shower? <laughs> 
Uh, right. Which way are they going? Oh, they're facing inwards. Um, why do people call him Mano Jet? I mean, that's that is his name, so kinda, but yeah, Mando or by his name is whatever. Um, I just saw Boxy Builds. Hey, Boxy Builds, how you doing, man? Hope you are well. Um, per, do you know Lego Jurassic World? Not the game. I know some of the sets. My mate is quite obsessed with dinosaurs, so he has like most of the uh Jurassic World sets. So I, I do know the sets fairly well, um, but I don't have any personally as well. Um, you see, I've been here the whole time. You, you haven't even commented the whole time. You're like there for the first couple of minutes, and then just nothing for like 40 minutes, and now you're back. Um, but glad glad you're here. Um, Scottish Aiden, hey man, nice to see you. First time I think I've seen your name on one of my streams before, so great to have you. What's your favorite scene from The Mandalorian? Um, again, not spoiling it for people. I probably like just Zach hasn't seen it, but um probably grogu sat on the rock when he's meditating and then the uh i've forgotten the name of the black droids that fly down but basically when like the mandalorian is trying to grab baby uh baby yoda or grogu and he keeps getting like blasted away by the force um and then the droids come down and then just take him and fly off like that is probably one of my favorite scenes um definitely sad a scene when the ship blows up Definitely. <laughs> Face mask, bro. Definitely. Swipey Stop Motion Studios. Hey, man. How you doing? It's more new names. Well, not new names, but more names in the stream. Um, hey, Venus Michael here. Definitely. The lag is real. Is that lag? Hopefully, it's not lag. I was having issues earlier as well. Um, by the way, on eBay, there is a seller who sells 25 of any clone legion very cheap. Really? I'm interested. That has piqued my interest. Um, is this actual name Din? Yes. <laughs> yes, Scott, it is. Um, thank you for confirming that as well. Um, UCS, I've been watching Sonic. I mean, if you want to join UCS, feel free. Uh, I just finished it, definitely. Um, God, the lag, I can't take it. UCS says it's fine. I'm, 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 I don't know. Is there lag? Is there not lag? I mean, I know something Spartan likes to wind people up but uh yeah i don't know yeah it was sick i think the shadow droids or something i don't remember either um but hey nice to see you bro uh not really into lego but massive star wars fans so it's good to you just talk about it definitely i mean most most of the streams that i end up doing is i'm building lego but we don't just talk about lego it is very anything related I th most of the time i end up doing live streams with ucs productions who's also in the chat and we end up talking about pretty much anything i think one stream we're showing off our uh like our collectible shoes we talk about cars we talk about star wars from like mandalorian clone wars rebels any of the like the the, the movie references um so yeah definitely I'm, I'm welcome to the community i guess um and yeah great to have you uh i got father first and bomb squad that's decent i got i got loads of those troopers too <laughs> Dark Troopers are the name. Thank you, Boxy Builds. Dark Troopers. They look amazing. I love this, like the 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 start, like the sound that they the, the directors used for when they were waking up, when uh, Moff Gideon was like, "Activate the Dark Troopers" or whatever he, whatever line he said, and it's just like all the robotic noises. Oh, it's, it was amazing. I should replay that scene with my surround sound in my bedroom. That would just be crazy. I think like, you need a subwoofer though. I don't have a subwoofer in my room. Um. But that would be crazy. Oh, I'm just going past. Grogu is the true Mandarin. Is he? Is he there? And hundreds of droids. I've I've also got hundreds of droids. You'll see that in a video that I'm posting very soon. Um, I love the other side of the world, so it's probably just me. Uh, we can ask Scott if Scott's got any lag. Um, Lego Legion doesn't have any lag. Boxy Bills doesn't have any lag. Dark Troopers uh, are what they're called. Um, and what do you mean by that? Mm. Don't know, man. I would but need to go to not that sounds much premiere at 8 30. I've got to wash off my face mask in a sec. Haha. <laughs> uh, not a problem, UCS. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Um Wagwan Cam Cherry, how you doing, man? Hope you're well. Um UCS also Brick Cantina this Friday. Definitely we'll be doing that. So we can we can host the Brick Cantina and continue where we left off. We kind of did it for a bit and then had a little break, but we're definitely in 10 coming back. I mean, we never really left. We just holidays. 
was, you know, Christmas Day and then New Year's Day, uh, two, you know, holiday events spent with family. So, yeah, this Friday will definitely be back. Um, good to me. Awesome. I swear UCS and TVC have the same profile pictures. They are very similar. Um, I think they are slightly different. There are slight like variations. If you had them side by side, you could tell the difference, I believe. But they, uh, um, I think TBC made UCS's um, profile pic as well. So they, they look similar that way. Um, you said I like to wind people up. Did I? I don't remember saying that, Swipey. Swipey? Because I read the comment above. I don't remember saying that, Simpen. Sorry. Uh, can you build a Lego climb base on Felucia? I could give it a go. Definitely. Uh, what time is the Brick Cantina? Normally fairly late. Probably like, I don't know, nine-ish, ten-ish. Probably. That's normally when we end up doing it. Um, I'm so sad my Lego store is closed. I think everyone's Lego store is closed. Also, I don't have a Lego store close to me. I've never been to a Lego store, which is actually breaks my heart. I feel like I need to take a trip when lockdown's over and I have some money. Take a trip to a Lego store and just like buy so much stuff. I do just a really big like haul video. Maybe a vlog while I'm up there as well. But um, yeah, I, I really need to go to a Lego store at some point. Um, no more progress. I know it is sad. I'll be here till eight twenty-seven. No, you could at least wait until eight twenty-eight. You could at least like you know you two minutes to like cross over. It, it, you know it's fine. Um, do you think? Uh, do you think is good Boba Fett survival? Or the, do you think that is good that Boba Fett is still alive? Is that what you're implying? Uh, yes, I do. I think it's amazing. I love everything about Boba Fett being back in the Mandalorian. I think, yeah, I think that's great. Uh, Disney Village has some awesome one, uh, only Disney things. Again, I'm not in America. <laughs> Or near Paris, so I'm not near it anyway. Uh, have you seen my video on the mock competition? I am running EMG Boxy Builds. I have not, but I'll definitely go check it out. I need to get my notepad, wherever it is. I'll get my post-it note, and I'll write it down. Because, I honestly, I will forget. I, I'm, I'm terrible for having things on my plate. So, Boxy Mock Comp. There we go. Also, for people who don't know, uh, if you haven't, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I am currently doing a competition or a giveaway for this uh, R3 M2 sealed poly bag. Uh, so it's when I hit 1,000 followers. So when I hit 900 followers, I announced it, and then it's running until I hit 1,000 followers. So if you guys haven't followed me and you want to enter and have the chance to win that free poly bag. Just go over to my Instagram. Link will be in the description after this video because I didn't get ch chance to write a description <laughs> at the start of this video because everything kept packing up this morning. Um, but yeah, head over to my Instagram and go enter. It's free to enter and I do post worldwide as well and it doesn't cost anything. So all the costs are on me. Um... Uh, and I think exclusive sets to Disney Paris Castle. That's awesome. Uh, I'm in the UK and I go there every year. I've never been to Disneyland or Disney World. I've never been to any of the Disneys. Um, Commander Tilly, nice to have you. Um, also, he needs to go. Bye. Well, thank you for stopping by, man. Um, who is your favorite Jedi from the movies? Obi-Wan, without a doubt. Obi-Wan Kenobi is my favorite guy. I have him right here from the uh, General Griffiths of Starfighter. He is definitely one of my favorite clones. It's not going to focus, but there he is. He's definitely more, hands down my favorite Jedi. Then probably Anakin. I am quite a big Anakin fan. I do like him. More from the Clone Wars than episodes two and three. Well, one, two, and three. Um, he's good. Um, who I'm good depends on what we're talking about. It definitely depends what you're talking about. Good in terms of behavior? Definitely not, Spartan. You are not good behaved. <laughs> Nah, I'm joking. You can be when you want to. Um, it's crazy. I've, I, I've had this set open for ages. We're like nearly an hour into the stream, and I've only just turned to page 20. I have, in all fairness, built the mini Millennium Falcon as well. I have the Dragon Ball Stuff and Anakin's Interceptor also for Xmas. That's a decent little haul there. That is a good little set. I really want Anakin's Interceptor. Um, I don't have it yet. I don't even think I have... 
a new a, a newer version of him. I think I have the original one from episode three, which was years ago that I got that one. Um, bruh, <laughs> rejoice. Definitely. Do you like Anakin? Yeah, Anakin is he's decent. I like him in the Clone Wars. I really like uh, I do like him in the Clone Wars. I like the episodes where he's with the um the brother and the sister and the and the father. Um I think he's the father. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's called the father. And uh yeah, when it's Anakin and Obi-Wan and Ahsoka. Sorry, my mind just completely went blank then. Yeah, that episode, I really like Anakin there. I like the fact they kind of get, like, they're making him darker and darker as the episodes go on. Um, oh, that's not the right one. I need the plain one. I do quite like that. Uh, in the second part of the video, and I speak a lot about on the stream for my second channel, Boxy Live. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, go, I'll definitely go check it out. Um, now you feel like one of my streams, eh? <laughs> hey, definitely. I didn't even ask you to start listening. Thank you very much, my Google Assistant. You can stay out of it. <laughs> there we go. This is actually looking really cool. I really like the design of the back of this TIE Fighter. Um, I like Anakin's story, but it, um, but it was shown on the screen very cringy. Yeah, I think episodes one, two, and three... Anakin wasn't portrayed that well, but in the Clone Wars, kind of like as a clone general, I thought he was really, really like he was portrayed in a much better way. I definitely fell in love with Clone Wars version of Anakin than I did episodes like yeah, the original trilogy. Uh, not the original trilogy, the the uh, prequels. Um I was like, who is that lady? <laughs> what lady? Oh, okay. In my in, yeah, that was my Google Assistant. I don't know what... I don't remember saying any words that triggered her. But, yeah, she'd be listening. I also turned up her sensitivity as well because I find that at, like, 1, 2 in the morning while I'm, like, half asleep and I either like, I want to turn my lights on or off or um, I have a heated blanket because it's freezing over here. Um if I want to turn that on or off, I'm like half asleep. You, you know, you, you don't really speak properly. It's kind of just like, and you know, not, not really words come out. Uh, so I turned up her sensitivity, but now she seems to be uh, picking up anything that sounds remotely like the call card. Uh, there we go. I'm swimming smart. <laughs> what are you drinking? I mean, how could you not know what I'm drinking? It, it's Vimto. It's always Vimto. I want Vimto to sponsor me. But, yeah, it's always Vimto. And then I do have a glass of orange and lemonade next to me because I had that with my dinner, but I didn't drink it. EMG, how many 330-second clones do you have? So I only have two at the minute, but I do plan on getting some more later on down the line. I'd like to get another couple of tanks, so I'll have another couple of clones. But I'm also planning on getting just some 330 second helmets. So maybe changing some of my 5 of first into 330 second. Just depends on how much that would cost uh, to do in the long run. Uh, which is your favorite film? Which Star Wars film is your favorite? Um, so I would say my favorite film would have to be the third one, Revenge of the Sith. I think that is just portrayed in such a great way. I think also with the graphics as well, the fact the graphics just got so much better, like one, two, and three, they were just getting better and better and better as they shot them. So, yeah, Revenge of the Sith was probably, probably my, or definitely is my favorite. Uh, what is Vimto? So Vimto is, is basically squash. It's just like blackcurrant squash, um, but probably got a hell of a lot more sugar in it than regular. It's a, it's a UK drink, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not very well cultured. I've never been to America, so I don't really know what drinks you class as British or just, um, yeah. It's always Vimto EMG 2020. I mean, 2021, that's a 2021 quote. Okay, you got correct anyway. Um, whoa, we're, we're flying. The TIE Fighter is still amazing. 
definitely, definitely is. Um, uh, Scottish Aiden, same. It's amazing. Uh, Revenge of the Sith, definitely. Revenge of the Sith is a great film. I need to watch it again. Actually, I haven't watched it in ages. I love the opening scene. I love all Star Wars scenes where all the films when they open up and it's just like just like space which is silent. And then you just have the engines of, a, of like a, a ship flying over. But I, I think that's what I love most about episode three is the fact you have the two Jedi interceptors and they're both just flying in and then like they pan over Coruscant with a massive battle scene. That, that That's what gets it for me as well. Um, Empire Strikes Back is good, is good too, definitely. I mean, I can't, I can't fault any of the originals and the... Uh, the prequels, the sequels, I'm not a massive fan on, but I will still watch them. Us, eight's definitely my least favorite. Like that's what I wouldn't rewatch, but definitely. You think Return is the best Star Wars movie? <laughs> you are out of your mind. Definitely not, Spartan. Uh, everything came to a head in Return of the Sith. The climax was amazing. Palpatine speech, all of it, and I'm really looking forward to the Bad Batch as well. Like the new Bad Batch series, which is like right in the height of end of you know Order sixty six. Now the you know the, the the republic has gone into the empire i'm really looking forward to seeing how they take that take that forward it's going to be amazing but the funny thing was for some reason i'm not actually that worried about getting getting it still i mean fair enough ucs i mean i know you're more of a clone wars era fan anyway so i mean i'd still get it while it's on sale like you know while it's available if, if you can get it at a discount price then i'll definitely pick it up even if it's just for your sealed set collection um but yeah I'd, I'd do that um atom moron if i said that right or if i said that wrong please forgive me um awesome well very nice to have you man hopefully you are well um but i hate 789 is the girl jedi uh what about you i mean ray i don't have too much of a problem with i think her acting is quite like wooden it's a little bit robotic to a sense my most hated character is Rose. I think she is just she irritates me way too much. Don't don't like her. Um, Atom, I hope you get my race quest soon. Hopefully you do, man. It's an amazing set, it's great build. I know you're gonna love it. Um, what else? Uh, in a new hope that Darth Vader kills the rebels, you realize that there are clones because you listen to the screams and compare them. And realize that nearly the exact same. I think that's just the um. The generic dying scream. I think most films use the same generic dying scream, so I don't know. Episode seven is underrated because of episode eight. Definitely, I I, I really liked episode seven. There's so much hype around episode seven as well. The Brit Council, how you doing, man? Was up? Was up? Was up? Hopefully you're well. Um, yeah, just building the Tie Fighter, and we've built the Mini Microfighter falcon which is pretty cool but i'm gonna be saving the trouble on tatooine for tiktok tomorrow so I, I do have it if you've watched my whole video but i'm not gonna be building it tonight as well um void welcome to the stream hopefully you are well um just hello tvc hey tvc i think i'll definitely uh definitely get it I, I recommend it ucs it's not that expensive 35 pound is not it's not gonna break the bank um even though me and you don't really have banks um it's more just a yeah pile um but uh, yeah it, it doesn't break the pile too much um just have to wait until it goes on sale that just yeah wait until it goes on sale it's not gonna you know that's not gonna affect you if you're not you know if you're not that fussed about getting it but i definitely think that you should get it at some point as well all the skywalkers are mary sue's except the guys yeah could, could possibly agree with you i'm doing well thanks emg how are you i'm good tbc or the brick council uh i'm good thank you worked on a stop motion today for doing the general grievous starfighter also worked on a very basic um christophesis mock uh when you see it like when i post it and you see it you'll understand why it's very basic but it's basically just a or mostly to show off my droid army which is the, the ridiculous part like that's why i've done it but i've done it in the form of christophesis so yeah, I'll be having that coming up very, very soon as well. Um, Zachary has got to go. Not a problem. Thank you very much for stopping by, Zach. Hopefully see you very soon. And good luck with school as well. Obi-Wan Kenobi, hello there. I, I have you right here. There we go. It, it's not It's not going to focus, but this is... Oh, we, we almost had a focus there. And autofocus is going to play up for like the next five minutes trying to focus. No, we want you to focus on Kenobi. If I move what is that? No. It's not liking it. Anyway, that was General Kenobi. Um, I've been expecting you, definitely, General Kenobi. 
Uh, where are we? I've literally not built next to nothing. I need one. Is it one or two? Are we doing? I'm confused myself. Are we doing the other side afterwards? Ah, we get to do the other side. I've done them all at one one time as well. Christophersis. Yeah, you you'll you'll understand it when you see it. It's not just a um. Yeah, I think the best the best thing for it for like that, that needs to happen is for you to just watch it when it comes out, because it looks pretty sick. It looks amazing, but it's very basic. It's nothing. I, I've not spent a lot of time making anything for it. It's basically it's just to showcase the, the army, but I think it looks amazing. All right, so this. I put this on the wrong way. How could I be so stupid? Oh, it's going to not come apart now. See, this set should have come with a brick separator. That one. Um, that one. Like that. And then we need that one. Uh, Christopher, what set in? Christophersis. I mean, if, if you're having a problem with my pronunciation, again, I'm dyslexic. I can't process words very well. Okay. Please leave me alone on my dyslexia. <laughs> um, my favorite bad guy is General Greaves. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I love General Greaves. He is definitely one of one of the most badass is badass. Um, I think one of my favorite bad guys, not from the original films, but Darth Vader. I think Darth Vader is one of my favorite playing like watching when Star Wars Battlefront 2 and just comics and like all the canon stuff. I think he's just so overpowered. He is, he's crazy. Like I absolutely, I feel like I'm missing something probably at the back. Yeah. I'm missing these two pieces. Um, uh, mine's either Vader or Maul. Maul is amazing as well. I love Maul. I, th I think especially in the fact they brought him back in the Clone Wars. That was, that was great. I love the fact they did that. Um, I loved Carlo Ren until he turned good to be fair but I loved all the villains yeah I kind of agree with you on that I think he made a pretty good um, pretty good like Sith Lord despite his temper issues he did suffer with his temper quite badly um, but I thought he was pretty cool uh, I, again I didn't really mind him when he turned back into Ben either I thought Ben was alright um, my friends all called him stuff let me start that again. My friends calls himself a Star Wars fan, but he won't watch Rebels because it's a cartoon. He's definitely not a Star Wars fan. Like, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I've watched Star Wars Resistance, and I've been, and I, today I've been watching the Lego Freemaker program. Like, that is still Star Wars. It still counts, you know. Um, General Sheaves, definitely. We love, we love good old Sheaves. Sheaves Palpatine is definitely, he's he's my guy. If he's not a general, though, is he? Um, Vader and Rogue One was the best cinematic experience I've ever had at the end. Definitely. I mean, I don't know if you saw it in the cinema, but all of the Star Wars films, apart from the solo movie, I watched Midnight Release. Um, and for that film, honestly, the cinema, obviously, everyone is just like, what is going on right now? And you're just watching him, like picking people up and then throwing them. And then just as the talented flies away and comes out, and you just see him stood there and he's just like, he, he, you can look you, the look of in his eye. He he looks pissed. He is just not having it. He's like, nah, nah. They got away quick. Back to the ship. We got to get him. Like you know, the yeah. Although he doesn't actually have expressions, you could see the look on his face. He was just not having it. How long do you think it'll be streaming? Well, at this rate, probably another like twelve hours because I've only done bag one of three, and <laughs> we've just got a little pod. I mean, it looks quite cute to be honest. He's got his little flaps. Um, but probably at least another hour, man. At least another hour. I've, uh, I could come on the stream a bit later uh, if you're still going. Definitely, man. I'll have you on. I'll have you on later if you're still going. I was the last scene of Vader killed all the rebels. Scene so should have been the scene Rogue One movie. Um, also not knowing it would have been the movie. Definitely. Um, obviously, you can't kill all the rebels because that led straight into episode four, uh, A New Hope. But I think he should have. there should have been more rebels on the ship for him to kill. Should have definitely been. Um, oh, there should have been a lot more death because you don't really see that much Jedi slaughtering. You do in episodes two and three, but it's all battle droids. You don't see any like persons being hacked alive. Um, 
which is obviously what, what everyone goes to watch films for. You want to see people being blown up. All right, are we going to need some more noise? We're opening bag two now. Get all the pieces out. All right, that's the uh, the main bag. Move one of those over to one side, and I'll open the uh, the little bag. There we go. I'm uh, not knowing who would be in the movie, then in the end watching them fall badass and slaughter everyone. Definitely. Kind of like what he did with the younglings as well. Uh, now with Disney, it ain't going to happen though, right? Oh, I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I mean, the fact that we're getting Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, um, I feel like they could bring Darth Vader into it and make it kind of hopefully have some quite graphic scenes. Um, but... I mean, I'm just skipping back to the thing, you know, the fact that it's being Disney and it's graphic. Again, yeah, I don't know. Because obviously Disney are aimed for more of the younger people. But then again, they do create some quite older content other than just Disney, like, fairy films. I mean, Disney don't just make fairy films. But, yeah, I think... Oh, this is the next... This is the the droid as well. You won't be able to see him because the lighting is terrible. I need my new desk. That's something I'll have to invest in as well. Um, I'm going to say hello to Goofy Bricks. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you are well. Um, but definitely, uh, Aiden, I would love to see more slaughtering. Slaughtering is <laughs> what I go to the cinema for. Um, to watch it, not to ha have it happen, obviously. That, that could have been taken completely out of context then. Um uh <laughs> will it never show blood to be fair so maybe i mean unless they hire like quentin tarantino to shoot a scene because he had he's known for his excessive blood his blood scenes just go absolutely everywhere um so possibly we don't know uh congratulations on 330 subs thank you very much man it's it's coming around very quick my subscriber count is hitting the roof to be honest it's crazy um i'm obviously doing something right you know for people to be showing that much love and respect to my channel uh and i appreciate every single one of you uh for supporting me as well it means so much um definitely does anyone uh does anyone in star wars sleep or go to the toilet yeah i'm pretty sure they do i'm not sure when but i'm pretty sure they do she is your favorite bad guy, uh, or who's your favorite bad guy in Star Wars? Probably again, Darth Vader or more. They're, they're pretty good. Um, I can't really think of any like any other significant bad guys. Um, did I do that right? Oh no, I did that wrong. I used the wrong piece. Literally, I, I could have picked up any of the pieces and I picked up the wrong one. Um, uh, I'm very nervous about Sam's contest results in about 10 minutes. I mean, I didn't even really know he was doing a competition, so I, I probably would have entered if I realized it was going on. Um, I've probably been a little bit away from Sam's content for a, a bit. I'm not sure why. I just haven't checked him out. Probably need to. I oh, need to keep showing talking. Like, I thought they were going to show him in the back. To be honest, I quite like talking too. I like him in Rebels. Rebels was pretty good. Um... Check my YouTube channel out, name Morton Mustard. Okay, I'll, I'll go do that afterwards. Um, what about Netflix and Chills? I'm not sure what you're saying about Netflix and Chills, UCS, but definitely um, Netflix and Chills is, is decent. Uh, I've missed some bits as well. Youngling in the bathroom walks back in class. Oh, no. That's basically Grogu, wasn't it? He went off to get some food or something. <laughs> Seen a couple of memes about that. Grogu got off getting food and he comes back and uh, everyone's slaughtered. RIP. Uh, RIP, I've been doing daily uploads and I just won't anymore because I haven't grown. I mean, I wouldn't stop it. Like, you just need to keep going. That's like literally the only bit of advice I can give. Like, just keep at it. Just don't stop. Like, it will come at a point. It will come. There's uh, there's a toilet on the Millennium Falcon. I mean, there should be, definitely. You need daily content. Are you talking to me or are you talking to uh, Goofy Spartan? I'm not sure. Whoa, what, what, I mean, okay, uh, I didn't mean that to be in caps. Not a problem, UCS. We all do it. Pump up those vids to get monetization. I'm trying to. It is hard. Uh, I've, I've, been, I've made a few different contents today, so 
I've got some videos coming out. I mean, I'm trying to just maybe keep to two streams a week and like a or two video, like one or two videos a week as well. So if I can keep doing that regularly, then yeah, hopefully we'll do that. I love more screaming rebels. Yeah. Kenobi. It's iconic as well. He announced it like four weeks ago, to be fair. Ah, I've been away a little bit. Have you guys seen Matt contest? I've, I've literally seen it for a little bit as well, but um, I've seen the thumbnail. I mean, that's what I've seen. So it's fine. i got to go. Not a problem, man. Hopefully see you soon. I know you'll be back in a jiffy. That's fine. And that's my, uh, and I actually, uh, like fast. I feel like she was, ex uh, she was expanded a bit more. Um, and had more screen time. She'd been pretty badass. I used to love playing her in Styles Battlefront. Her ability is unique. Yeah. I mean, I've played her a few times since the Styles Battlefront, uh, two game. I haven't unlocked like her characters level one. So I've not played her enough, obviously. Um, so her abilities for me are absolutely appalling. Like I can't, I run around, get a couple of shots, and then I'm pretty much dead because I have no decent abilities whatsoever. But I feel like if I played as her more, I would probably get to love her a little bit more um, as well. But yeah, for me, I don't really have too much. Um, monetized my dream. I monetizes everyone's dream. I, I really want to get to monetization quite soon as well. Um, one of kind of bricks saying hello to everyone. Hello, one of kind of bricks. Hope you're doing well. I think I had you in earlier. I don't know what to build for Matt's contest, but I still have time. Definitely have time. Um, uh, she's very sent, uh, situational. I feel uh, you can do well uh, as her if you get used to her. Yeah, definitely. Now, I feel like if you have um, any character in Battlefront 2 and you upgrade them enough, they get so badass. Like, I've upgraded Darth Vader quite a lot. And he's so OP. He just runs around and he's just doing so much damage. As well as Boba Fett as well. Boba Fett is pretty OP on my account. Again, I'm not a great gamer. I'm not a massive gamer either. So I'm not like sweat out on games. But just for those characters, you know, I am pretty good levels on those. Um, wait, is this start a Battlefront 2? That's what I've been talking about, UCS. Uh... Are you liking this build so far, EMG? Thank you very much, Scott. Uh, yes. I mean, I haven't really built a huge amount of it. I did really like the cockpit. I thought the cockpit was really cool. Um, I love the the shapes and the angles. I think there's some quite unique styles. I quite like this piece as well. I haven't seen this piece. So this is the bit that's going to be attaching to the body. So that's quite cool. I look forward to using that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a wing done. I'll let you know after I've built a wing as well. I missed EA Battlefront 1. EA Battlefront 1 as well. It's pretty good. Do you like or played Squadron? So I have it. I have it installed. I bought it the other day. Uh, I installed it onto my Xbox, and that is as far as I've got on the game. <laughs> it's literally, I've, I've installed the game, done all the updates, and that's as far as I got. So I'm yet to play it, but I, I want to play it as well. This is just uh, supremacy. Uh, not really. Uh, yeah, I know she's not typically rated, but I do well as her. I mean, yeah. Uh, quite a lot of the characters i mean if you if you do have a kind of like you lean towards a few favorites like i don't really touch her i don't really touch kylo ren even though i got really high level kylo ren um because i bought the uh was it the ultimate edition the elite i think they call it the elite edition i bought the elite edition when it came out and you get really high level i think ray and kylo ren um so i have like quite high levels of those but I just I, I don't really enjoy playing as them. I, I I much prefer playing as Darth Vader or as like Boba, or then again at like Obi Wan or Anakin, uh, depending on what side you're playing. Um, uh, is the Mandalorian armor unbreakable? I don't think it is. I don't think Beskar is unbreakable. There will definitely be something that can damage Beskar, whether it be like other Beskar, but there it was def there will definitely be something out there that can damage uh, Beskar. There'll be some form of um, uh, material or weapon that can damage it. Um, ben L L Linus, I, I, I could probably completely mutilate that name as well. Um, hi, I just got here. Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you are very well. Um, glad to see you. <laughs> you see, yes, I can't wait for the Lego Star Wars. Neither can I, man. I'm super hyped for that game. I haven't played a Lego Star Wars like properly. I haven't played a Lego Star Wars game in ages. It's been such a long time. I used to have. I used to play them on the PSP. 
um and i haven't played it properly i, I played it on the wii I, I i tell a lot i did have it on the wii um and i completed the game on the wii but again i never had it on like a proper console xbox or playstation so i'm really looking forward to getting it on the xbox i probably will also get it for my nintendo switch as well um so i can play it on the go and also at home as well uh which should be great but yeah i'm really looking forward to that game coming out as well <laughs> one of the i'm in class right now well thank you for still watching us one of the kind bricks Glad to have you here. And which game modes are you guys uh, on about? Either of them, man. Either of the game modes. Um, the Dark Saber. Mm, I don't know. The Dark Saber is still a lightsaber, and a lightsaber couldn't really penetrate it, could it? Because Ahsoka attacked him, and it didn't go through. Um, uh, what are you? Th uh, what What are you thinking about the Mandalorian Lego? I quite like it. I think it's. I think it's pretty good, though. I do. I, I'm looking forward to building the set tomorrow on, on TikTok as well um zach i'm back awesome nice to have you back scotch aiden gotta go now sub though i'll see you some other time well thank you very much for stopping by scotch aiden uh super happy to have you here feel free to drop by anytime if you've got any recommendations for my channel or want to see any types of content then drop me a message also have instagram as well if you have instagram you can message me over there if you want to talk more privately as opposed to an open chat like this uh but yeah hopefully see you soon Nice to have you. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for probably a month for two for the game to drop for, to like forty dollars in price. This is the one thing I don't understand, mostly with like America. So the new Lego Star Wars, or not even the new ones, like the Father First sets and the AAT. You have so many sales over there. I think I've seen it go on sale like three people post it like three times that they've had sales for the set. It just doesn't go on sale over here. I've had to pay full price for all twenty of my sets. Like you guys, it drops by like five dollars. Imagine, like if it dropped by five pounds over here, like down to twenty pounds, I'd be saving so much money. I would have so much more money sat in my bank right now, as opposed to not having the money because it's all been spent on battle packs. But um, yeah, you guys get crazy discounts. You get discounts all the time. Don't really see it. it's fair. Squadrons is my favorite Star Wars game. It is amazing. The graphics are incredible, and there's just such a good storyline. Ten out of ten. I'll definitely have to give it a go. I mean, I've got um, a 43 inch 4K TV with a uh, 5.0 surround sound, so I don't have a subwoofer built in um, in my bedroom. So when I play video games, I'm fully submersed in, like, in the zone. Um, and I'm still waiting to get. The, I think it's the. I forgot what it's called. The Philips Hue. Uh, it's the something or other, and it connects up to the TV, and it syncs all the lights to the screen. I really want to get it. It's 250 pounds, I think. So it won't be for a while. Um, but then I'll be fully submersed in my gameplay. It would be absolutely mental. Okay, so this is so far the type. Well, there's Lex to know. Like, that is the TIE Fighter Wing. Actually, a pretty decent size. I'm quite happy with the, uh, the size of that. Uh, I'm free uh, from this tyranny they call school in 45 minutes. I'm glad to hear that one. I'm kind of breaks. You'll be, you'll be free. Uh, you said the yeah the dark saber nearly melted the spear. Remember, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna have to rewatch that as well. I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch that. Um, uh, one of kind of I have to do work in a bit. Brb, not a problem, man. Uh, not that Sam Smith video UCS. Um, I've got to go watch Sam's mox when it's. That's not a problem. If you guys want to go over and watch that and then pop back, I would. Uh, I'd appreciate that. Obviously, I, I can't really leave my uh, leave my stream, so I'll just continue building with whoever is still here. Um, but that's a one by eight. Oh, it goes to one by eight, two by eight. But uh, yeah, definitely. Um, what do you think about J Jabba the Hutt? I don't have any disagreements with Jabba the Hutt. I think he's a pretty badass crime lord. A little bit weird, with how, like the way he has um, uh, Princess Leia. In I uh, is that episode five or is it uh, no episode six I believe it is where he's on the sail barge and she's in her slave costume like it's a little bit pervy like I I don't really agree with him with how he has her dressed um but I know that she's like a pretty good looking woman and you know that's is like his trophy but again it just seems a little bit weird but in terms of like the rest of it I still think he's a pretty sound guy pretty badass businessman as well. I'm hopping over to not a sound smith prem, but I'll uh, leave it on mute. Not a problem, man. Uh, Scott's still here. Awesome. Lego Legion, I'm going to stay. Boxy Builds, I'm going to stay. Uh, Zach is looking good. The build, definitely. 
Uh, I am building whilst watching you build. What are you building, Boxy? I would like to hear what you're building. Don't you think this shape kind of reminds you of the, um, I forgot what it's called, but episode one, um, the Phantom Menace, not uh, Padme Amidala's ship, but the first, the big uh, ship that she comes in, the big silvery chrome one that blows up when it lands on the platform. Is that episode one or is that episode two? Episode two, I think that is. Yeah, episode two, it lands on the lands on the platform because that's when Anakin is um, uh, slightly older, isn't he? It's when, he, when you first see him as... Hayden Christensen. Um, Lolly MG. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Oh, I'm starting to lose my voice a bit. I'm going to have to take some more, uh, some more Vimto. There we go. Right. Turn back a page to rebuild this same step. But yeah, I'm thinking of building a mock of uh, using my TIE Fighters pretty soon uh don't know how big it's going to be don't really know what or when it's going to be but i ha have a plan that i want to use the tie fighter for so stay tuned for that but yeah i've got a couple videos coming out soon so hopefully uh hope you guys will be able to watch those pretty soon still need to edit some i probably won't be editing too much after this uh build slash live stream just because I normally am pretty shattered after watching or doing these. That is a pretty decent, pretty decent size. If I can get it all in the screen. Uh, some more of my Jedi Temple. Uh, I'm planning out how I'm going to get all the mocks c collected uh, in my contest. Awesome. Definitely. I love the figs and the tie. Great value. They are actually pretty amazing figs. Uh, you do get three pretty good figs. I do think we should have had maybe an Imperial officer. Um, I think I, I would, I'm pretty sure that's what they did for the last one, but yeah, an Imperial officer would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy just having the figs we've got. I think they're pretty good figs. I'm pretty sure I had a message earlier from the missus. Let's see what she said. Uh, later night tonight. Okay, I'm still streaming. Send that across to her, see how she's doing. Uh, great value. Um, can't even f really pen start to pronounce that name. Forks Toaster. I'm going to say it as that. Yo, how you doing, man? You are definitely a new name to the channel, so welcome to the channel. Hope you are well. Uh, again, I still really need to come up with a name for people joining this channel. So I'm trying to get cross-legged on my chair, but my desk is not the best setup at all. Still waiting to buy a new desk. Um, I like the figs better in the set than the ships themselves, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I do like the TIE Fighter. I don't have a TIE Fighter, but I think other TIE Fighters could be... Uh, well, the other TIE Fighter sets have had better figures. The UCS TIE Fighter looked pretty dang sweet, but I'm not paying that kind of money for it as well. Um Boxy book, it just skipped like 10 seconds for me. Damn, did it? That might be your internet. I don't think it'd be my internet skipping 10 seconds. In the last four minutes of The Mandalorian, episode 16, do you see a clip where Boba Fett kill a guy from Jabba's palace? Yes. Yes, you do. Uh, I forgot the name of him, but he's the, uh, he's like, his side man. Not sideshow Bob, because he's from The Simpsons, but yeah, you see a, you see a guy with the tentacles um box words yes uh i'm just gonna call you toaster because that's gonna be easy for me to call you toaster if that's okay with you um i sub thank you very much for subbing man i really appreciate that it means a lot uh helps out a lot as well um oh i, I missed some pieces i missed some pieces what did i miss what did i miss and how did i miss them these here I see, I see, I see. Uh, Bib for tuna. Yep, a big can of tuna was his name. <laughs> uh, yes, he was the one that got killed as well. It was weird, though, how fat he became. Is it because, does, I don't know if anyone knows this, but is it because he, he took over, like, Jabba's place um, in, like, the crime lord world that he just can eat whatever he wants? That's why he was so fat. Like, do we know if that was why he was fat or if he's just fat because he's fat? 
Look, I'm not fat shaming him, not not at all, but he, he did pile on the pounds a little bit, didn't he, guys? One, two, three. Oh, it goes outwards. Why would it go outwards? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> RIP Bib, definitely. RIP Bib. I'm so close to 20 subs. Uh, I'm on 19. Well, if you haven't subbed to Boxy Boys, go sub him out and go help him to get to 20 subs. He is so close, he's one off. I think I think so, we can get him to 20 subs. If not, I can always sub on one of my older alt accounts um, that I haven't used for years. But I can, I can sub to help get up. That would be a sub count as well. Do you know the land named Denmark? I do know. I know of Denmark. I've never been. I want to go. I want to go to the Lego house that's in Denmark. I think it would be really cool to go to go to Denmark and go to the Lego house. Obviously, once kind of COVID has died down a bit, like I feel like that that needs to happen first. Um, just fat because he's fat. Definitely, Boxy. He's fat because he's fat. Um, in some parts of Star Wars, Twi'leks uh, being fat is a sign of riches uh, as Ryloth is so poor. Yes, because the governor of Ryloth, whatever he was called, he was really big and fat. Um because obviously he was living on Coruscant and uh, he could eat what he wants because he has all the like the royalties of being being away as opposed to living on the rural planet of Ryloth. Lego SW Hub, hello there. Hello, man. How you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. I hope you're doing very well. I've got a paper cut earlier on and I'm, it's really hurting while I'm trying to push down these pieces. It is... Heading like a madman in a blue box, traveling all of space and time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back now. Not a problem, one of a kind bricks. I hope your homework slash work went well. Or oh, it's still going well. I don't know if you finished it. Like, this is just such a cool piece, like this piece, the gray piece. It just seems such a cool way to attach things to other things. All right, what are we doing next? We're adding four of those around it. Oh, that's cool to help secure it in. I see. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, it's so crazy how much uh, my channel grew in just December. I got almost 35 subs. It's crazy, I know. And my channel is doing ridiculous as well. Like I, I log in every day and I'm getting maybe like five new subscribers, which is crazy. Um what sets have you built so far? So, so far I've built the Microfighter um, Millennium Falcon, which is looking pretty awesome. And I'm building the TIE Fighter. Uh, I've said earlier, but I do have the Trouble on Tatooine, but I'm saving that for tomorrow on TikTok. I'm going to do a live over on TikTok because I've never done anymore either. Um, so uh, how far are you from releasing your next sets of merch? So I'm pretty close. I'm, I've got a design. I'm pretty happy with it. I just need to see what it looks like now on the like on the clothing and the different uh, items. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that the uh, the design's looking. So I, I can probably get it done. I can probably even get it done tomorrow and get it released for tomorrow. But I think I'd want to have a like a, an occasion to release it. Maybe like I don't know, hitting 500 subs or something, or getting a, a certain number of clone troopers in my army. Uh, but yeah, would be good to. Uh, why is my camera just having a spam with the autofocus? <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. I do apologize. Um, I told you it's a good build. It is a good build. I'm actually liking it a lot more than I kind of thought I would. But I think it's just a TIE fighter. I think if I had a different, like the older TIE fighter, I think I would also like that TIE fighter build just as much. But I am enjoying this Tie Fighter build. Uh, if I get well, if I get lucky, I get one sub a day. Now I have uh, just like stopped growing. It, it's it, you get like that, man. I, I've been like it. You go for periods where you don't get any subs. And you're like, what am I doing wrong? Why aren't I getting any subs? There is just periods where people want to, you know, they're out getting new subs, and then there's other periods where you just don't get anything. Um, but just keep at it. You, you will definitely you'll get some new uh subs soon um the mandalorian sets are not coming to denmark they're not coming to denmark 
Even though they're designed in Denmark, they're not coming to Denmark. That is definitely a rip right there. Um, see you later, Boxy Builds. Hope you're hope you have a good time. Uh, one of a kind of bricks. I've got to head out to my uh, oh, Boxy Builds ain't going. It's uh, one of a kind of bricks. He's got to head to his class of starting. Not a problem, man. Hope to see you soon. Oh, we get to add the wing on now. Uh, I'm gonna add it. Oh, it says to add it that way. All right. That is pretty decent. That is looking really good. Like that is, I mean, it, obviously it's quite weighted one side, but once we get the other wing on, I think that's gonna look pretty. I, I don't. I'll, I'll keep it that way because then it's less. Um, what they call it? I'm not blocking the view by having the tie there. Oh, I get my very first brand new Stormtrooper as well. I haven't got the uh, latest uh, Stormtrooper design either. So this will be interesting. Uh, one unboxing element. Uh, yeah, I, I also got it confused as well. Um, what else we got? Uh, I wasn't so too keen on the TIE Fighter when the uh, the picks got released, but I've grown to like it. I don't like how they've used angled 4x2 things next to the window. Yeah. I mean, I'm liking the design so far. I'm thinking it's really good. Of course, I've got to go to bed because I live in England. See ya. See you later, man. I'm also in England. Um, I don't have any work or school tomorrow, so I don't really have a bedtime. Plus, I'm old enough to kind of more or less do what I'm on. I'm, I'm a grown adult now, so if I want to go to bed at like 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. in the morning, I can, but I, I don't because I like, I like sleep. Um obstructive yeah i'm trying not to be obstructive good word man that's definitely a good word uh isn't there one of the new stormtroopers in the advent calendar i didn't get the advent calendar i i really missed out and i'm really annoyed that i missed out as well i wanted it and i should have got it when it was available but i didn't and then uh, i'm pretty sure that's a hand solo face that looks very much like a hand solo kind of face right there um but yeah and then here's the helmet wow that helmet is ugly. <laughs> that is not a nice looking helmet. <laughs> Lego, what are you doing? Why are you ruining my life? Um, yo, yo, yo. UCS Productions back. Goofy's back. Everyone's back. Nice to have you guys back. Um, Goofy Bricks got fourth place in Sam's contest. Nice. UCS, where did you come? Did you did you get a, did, like, did he do like runners up? Did Or did he just say like everyone's place and where he thought they came? I like the fact it's dual molded as well. I don't know who said this, but yeah, I like the black and the black and the white as well. And you became moderator on Sam's channel. Awesome. Was that one of the prizes? Is that uh, what you got for doing it? Who won the contest? Yeah, Scott. I would like to know. Also, if someone could tell me who won. All right, let's build this last um, this last wing, which will take me a while. I'll slow down a little bit. Who won? Who won? Who won? Um, bro, I didn't even make it top five. Oh, man, I loved your build. I mean, it was a little bit like last minute, you know, built in a day, quickly take some photos, upload it, like two, like hand in your assignment two seconds before the deadline kind of thing. But um, yeah, I thought I thought yours was really cool. I, I definitely can't wait for you to work on it a little bit more or even make your, your full thing as well. Oh, my throat. I don't remember the person mock, but it was really good. Uh, give me a sec. It was Mace Windu's Revenge. Oh, I haven't heard of him before, but that sounds awesome. Generally thought I had have a shot. Dang it. Definitely UCS. Yours was decent. Not going to lie. Like, I thought it was it was a good looking piece of build, to be honest. Good rock work as well. I want to say I think you should have been up. I mean, I, I need to watch the video because I, I haven't seen what people have built. But uh, I didn't see what Goofy built, but I, I did. I do like um, UCSs. I did like it. One of the kind of breaks. Uh, bye. I need to go to class right now. Not a problem, man. Have a good class. Uh, see you after the class as well. SW got second. I didn't see what he built, but I mean, good for him. I know he's a really good builder, so I'm sure he deserves it. I mean, I'm just surprised I didn't become second. You know, I think I think I should have come second. I, I mean, I didn't enter, but 
I think I should still should have been, you know, second second place runners up. Should should have been close. But never mind. There's always the next one. <laughs> well, that's really kind of you. definitely, man. I mean, your your build was pretty sick. Like I love the fact as well. As silly as it sounds, I love the fact there's no minifigures. Like like you said in your video, like it looks cleaner without minifigures. Like I thought it looked so good. Like normally, like with especially with my builds recently, I've been just spamming everything with minifigures. Like you know what will make this better? More minifigures. Like you know, it just gets quite ridiculous. Whereas yours is like. You know what? We're going to do the opposite, and we'll just do no minifigures. And yeah, it works that way. You want to send me my, my link? Yeah, I'll send. I'll send my link. Let me uh, copy to clipboard a second. Not copied. There we go. Give me a second. My laptop's been playing up a bit today as well. I want to compose. Hey, my shipment from. Uh... There we go. UCS. My shipment from uh, Emerald Struts is arriving soon. Looking forward to having that arrive. I've ordered a lanyard. <laughs> I've entered so many. What, mock contests? Or I, I, I don't know what you've entered. You've entered so many rooms. I've entered so many rooms. I mean, there's quite a few rooms in my house. So, yeah. <laughs> And funny enough, he said that the one thing I could have improved was by adding minifigures. Ha, <laughs> really? No, I think the opposite. I think yours is really fresh by not having any minifigures. Like, I thought it looked it looked so clean. Like, literally, it was a pair of off-whites. Honestly, it was it was clean as anything. Uh, what is the clock for you? For me, it's 22.30. For me, it is 20.49. Yes, 20.49. So it is 10 to 9 currently. So I've, I've nearly been going for two hours. Um, unfortunately, my stream, I was going to do it on stream labs, but it kept dying. So I had to switch to stream yard. Uh, so yeah, that's why my stream didn't quite start at seven o'clock like I intended it to. But we're here now, we're streaming, we're doing, we're doing good. Infinite Brick Productions one. That is definitely not like Mace Windy Bricks whatever it was but good for him i still haven't heard of him so i'll definitely have to go go see it um yeah i thought without many figures it was very clean uses definitely it looks it looks so clean i'm running one goofy um there's another chance for you boxy builds i'm definitely i've written it down so i'm gonna go check it out um did you see my entry mg i haven't seen anyone's entry i literally haven't even like been anywhere near his um sam <laughs> sam's mock contest unfortunately but I do intend going back and watching the video. And here he is. Not that Sam Smith. How you going, man? Hopefully, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and check out your uh, your mock contest video. Obviously, I, I couldn't really watch. I was streaming. But um, I'll definitely go back and rewatch it. Um, and congrats to everyone who partook. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give, I was going to say, I'll give my feedback on everyone's builds. But yeah, I'll let people know what I thought of their builds once I've uh, gone and watched the video as well um are you talking about me i was literally just saying that goofy asked me have i seen his uh his bill and i said i have not i haven't seen anything to kind of do with your mock building contest but i'll have to go back and watch the uh watch the video with it but uh, i've i've heard i've heard some good things regarding people's builds as well if i understand that you're giving away uh the two extra figs uh that's not talking to me i'd imagine because i'm not giving away i'm giving away a fig one fig of them uh for people who weren't here earlier when i announced it but i'm giving away a r3m2 on instagram so if you want to go ahead and check out my post uh all the rules to how to enter the competition are on my uh, instagram post um but yeah i'm giving away a free poly bag for my 1000 followers what well, as soon as i hit 1000 followers which actually should be pretty soon my my follow account is going up fairly fast as well um as well as my youtube as well as my TikTok. Everything's just doing quite well at the minute, which I'm, I'm really happy with. The time has come. <laughs> um, uh, so if someone wins, he chooses one for Sam. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Still waiting for UCS to uh, to join <laughs> once he opens up his emails. Oh, that was a tough brick. Brick stud to get on the, uh, on the little tile there. Or on the plate. That, then that, then that. Then we add these pieces. 
Um, EMG is three 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 subs. Now that is an awesome number. That's an awesome number of subs to be on. I appreciate every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. And yeah, the fact I'm on three 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 now is is great. Like the other day, I was I think I'd only just hit two hundred. I'm like, yeah, I've hit two hundred, and now it's like you've hit three hundred thirty three. Like, hello, where does this come from? And then uh, yeah, as soon as I hit five hundred, I'll be probably doing some form of giveaway for that because 500 is a nice number to do a giveaway or a competition probably a competition giveaway um but yeah we'll uh, we'll work that out later um it's so hard to pick a winner i mean i'll have to go look at it but i know well from the people who have entered uh i'm sure it would be a hard decision of who won like uh, there's a lot of amazing people who uh build some great things like in this stream and also just in general, there, there's some really great people out there. So, aha, we have the Jedi Roy himself. Oh, jeez, man. That was... Uh, were, you, were you sat there for long? Were you just like, hello? <laughs> no, no, it's not that. I was... Um, I, well, obviously, I said about coming on and then completely forgot that I had to set everything up. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I'll come on. It's like, oh, crap, I've got anything done. Yeah, well, so I basically had to like reroute all my all my wires and actually set up the whole camera and everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you made it now, though. Mm. Oh, how are you, man? I just looked into the lights. <laughs> that, that is literally why would you do that? I don't know. As long as yeah, you don't I'm go good. to the lights, then you're fine. I'm good. Um, I think I'm gonna. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to start, um, like maybe sorting some parts or something. I still haven't actually uh, announced my mock yet that I'm going to be doing, but oh. the, the mock that I just did, that is finished now. That's, I mean, that's pretty much all the parts I had, anyway. As it is, to be honest. I mean, it looks um, sick. It looks really good. I thought so. I was pretty happy with it. I mean, I spent what? Uh, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've, I pretty much worked for 10 straight hours on it. Cool. Basically, I just woke up and then. Got to uh, work. Yeah, I went to start building and just didn't stop building until I was finished. And I've had to go and pick my partner up from work. But apart from that, I was literally just building straight. Yeah. I didn't want to enter something that was like shoddy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you want you like, want to put like time and effort into it. Oh yeah, I mean, I, it's just like in my nature. Like I'm not if it wasn't finished and looking like crisp, then I wouldn't have entered it because yeah, you know, I have a certain repertoire, if you will. Definitely. I mean, I I remember entering uh, M Bricks competition, and I basically. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just built something in an evening and then entered that, and I think I won it. <laughs> it's just like, not quite <laughs> sure how I won it with my build, but yeah, I, I literally was just throwing pieces together, like, yep, this looks good, this looks good, and uh, yeah, this will do. I've run out of time now. I need to enter the competition. <laughs> and then I ended up winning, so I'm like, oh, that's decent. All right, I'm going to go yeah. back in like 30 seconds. That's all right. Uh, what would your giveaway be, Boxy? Yes. Well, if he's doing a giveaway, what would be the prizes for the winners and the runners-up, if you're doing runners-up prizes? Um, ah, yes, we get to do these pieces now. Ah, these pieces really hurt my finger. I'm trying to add these on an angle. I think it's because it's not... you Like, we're not putting them straight. We are putting the, these pieces at an angle. It just messes with my brain. Uh, no, wrong one. That one. Uh, <laughs> the chat is only goofy. Pretty much is goofy right. with a slight scattering of boxy builds <laughs> at the minute. <laughs> yeah. They're asking if you're in your pajamas. Oh yeah, I was in my. I pretty much still am in my pajamas. To be fair, um, <laughs> basically the. The uh, pajamas that my partner bought me for Christmas—they're really great and they're warm and everything. But somehow they like—they work up an incredible amount of static electricity. 
I don't know how, but <laughs> they they just honestly just me putting them on. You can it, you can hear it go like that. Your legs like, just charge up. <laughs> Literally, so I'll just change into my shorts for a minute. Fair enough. But, um, so yeah, I, I've got um, a bit of a controversial statement, if you will. I'm actually not going to be buying any of the Lego Star Wars Winter Wave. <gasps> dun dun dun! Not even the trouble on Tatooine. I'm doing a. I'm doing a um, rich boy Jay. And boycotting the purchases <laughs> of Lego sets. Yeah, but to be fair, the reason I'm doing it is not because I despise the sets or anything. I mean, apart from the fact that... that I despise the sets. <laughs> yeah, I don't basically. despise the sets or anything, but I despise the sets. Yeah, <laughs> apart from the fact that I despise the sets. I, I despise the sets. Yeah. No, so... Basically... The, I figured it out in the way that the money I'm going to be the the money I would have spent on buying the set is it works out to be like uh, let's have a look shall we thirty five plus forty five plus twenty eight plus what's the micro fighter like ten quid uh nine quid I think yeah nine quid it's like eight ninety nine something like that. So that alone is £117, and I don't think I'm forgetting anything. There's only four sets out. The Micro yeah. Fighter, the Trouble on Tatooine, the Imperial TIE Fighter, and the X-Wing so far. Now, although, yes, there is like a massive hype over the, the Trouble on Tatooine set for the Mando and everything, but at the at the end of the day, like for me, I've got the Razor Crest, I've got Mando, I'm not at... I I'm, I will at some point get the sets. It, it's yeah. just the fact that I I don't need a tie fighter right now, and I don't really need trouble on Tatooine because I'm not that. Although I like it, and it's a, it's going to be a fun build and just a nice set to get. It's twenty eight quid that I just don't need to spend because I'm not all that fussed about Tusken Raider because I've got one. The the two builds are kind of like no right. The, the speeder is oversized and you get half a hut. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, or you do what I do and you buy two of them and then you can just make <laughs> one hut. Have you, have you done that yet? I haven't I'm built it yet. I'm going to build it tomorrow on, a, on a TikTok. So what I'm building it on TikTok and I'm still waiting for Lego. They've dispatched my order, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I ordered this this, this Trouble on Tatooine on Amazon and then the TIE Fighter and the Microfire I got from Smith's. Right. So Smith's... So yeah, I've got another type. Well, I ordered from Lego on midnight of the new year. Um, I ordered the uh, Trouble on Tatooine, the TIE Fighter, and the X-Wing. Nice. And then I went out and bought another TIE Fighter, another ta Trouble on Tatooine, and then the Learning Fight Crew. Yeah, <laughs> You're, terrible. And the You're terrible, mate. I am, I am terrible. So, um, so the the X-Wing, if I was going to get any of them, I think I'd be getting the X-Wing because I still to this day don't own an x-wing yeah and um i've always kind of wanted one but i also think to myself like i mean obviously I'll, ine inevitably i'll end up getting one of the newer ones <clears throat> especially because they got you know those figures but um i kind of think i like the older designs more you know and it depends how much much they go for but it may be one of those times where i kind of give in to not getting the set in the box yeah but um, maybe, but again, as much as I like them, they're not like they're not like at the top of my list because the the sets that are like near the top of my list are, I mean, same thing like with the ATOT and Dropship, like in, incredible sets. But at the end of the day, for some reason, like that would probably be like fifth on my on my list. I reckon. Yeah. But I it sounds as weird as it sounds. I don't know why, but I keep finding my think myself thinking about the MTT. Well, the the original, like not the original one, but the second one, the, the one I've got, the big chunky one. I think it's the second one, yeah. Yeah, I actually love it. Two thousand and nine to two, somewhere between two thousand and nine to thirteen, I think is it. Mm, I thought it was older than that. Two thousand and eight, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Something like that. And yeah, but by the way, hello everyone in the chat. Just because yes, the uh, TBC yeah. also joined it back and said, Wow, we UCS. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, Wow, we, wow, we, what, wow, we, what, 
celebrity. You know what? I was in one of a kind bricks um, studios chats. I, don't know, I think it's just one of a kind bricks in those studios. Um, I was in his. I've, I've been going to a couple of his streams in the last couple of days, just to like drop in. Yeah, because, pop and say hi. Hello. And I thought support support the guys. Always comes to my streams. He's a nice bloke. Yeah, definitely. And, um, later as well. I'll go and say <laughs> hi if I'm still around. All right. It was funny because both times I've joined in the group, like the the chat, that I've been treated like this, like big time celebrity like royalty. <laughs> yeah, and it was the it's like, oh my god, like you are the king, and you're like, which is, I I thought for my second, this must be what TBC feels like. <laughs> this is TBC, <laughs> right? Now. This is what he feels like every time, he, like he enters the room. It's like, oh wow, it's TBC. Wow. <laughs> like, <you> know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, so there's kind of sets like that, and I really want to get. I still also don't know an ATT, so I think again I'm going off topic here. But the the problem is I have this not philosophy is too far, but <laughs> I, I I have this thought this thought tracking right. There are loads of sets that I really want, but at the end of the day, um there are only certain sets that I'm actually ever going to like use for a video or just have out on display. Yeah. Pardon me. Sorry about that. So that's all right. So I, I feel like that's why I actually probably own so many of like the, the master builder slash UCS sets, because those are sets that I can validate not being part of something. And but for example, the sand crawler, it's not Clone Wars, it's not for an army builder or a video or anything, but it's a UCS set and it's something that you can literally just display on its own. Yeah. Like the MTT, for example, is something of that nature where you could have it on a, in a display cabinet and it would look really cool. As opposed to like this, you have this like on the desk and you're like, <laughs> why Why or, is that there? Like, or like the it's not doing scale. anything. It has no like value. Mm, or that's the thing, like even even like the play scale X Wing that's just come out. At the end of the day, it's it is a cool set, but it's not like they've they've downscaled it so much that it is now just a play set. You can't really use it as like a proper like wow yeah thing. I, I understand. I mean I, I, at the minute I'm just slightly baffled how we've gone down to two views. <laughs> Like I was, at, I was at a height of like ten to eight views, like constantly throughout the stream. It's just dropped to two. I'll, I'll dip. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> nah, uh, Boxy says two thousand and seven. The MTT, yeah, it's it's a decent MTT. It sounds better. I keep getting asked to do like a trial thing. Um, let's have a look. We got three people apparently now. Awesome. Um, I'll take that. Can't see anyone else streaming. I don't think so. People keep doing these blind bag things. Blind bags. Solid Brick Studios just showed up for Geonosis. Perfect size table for a three by three mark. Dude, that's so big. The problem, the problem with like uh, people like us doing mocks like that is literally just the money. Yeah. Because I feel like if you had the money. Then you could just or you could bulk buy parts. Can you also like I suppose living in like they probably know people that they can get really good prices from. from yeah, they brought up like friendships with dealers, not like Lego dealers. They, they you know they go in a van. It's like here's your parts kind of thing. You know? <laughs> like yeah, literally like back at back of a van kind of stuff. But um, swipe it back. Yeah, awesome. Nice to have you. Uh, but yeah, like for them, they kind of they they have their dealers. It's like right, I need so many parts, and like you know, people can go off and source the pieces. I think. Um, um, whereas for us, it's like, well, we need to buy so many pieces, and it's like you're limited to Bricklink, and that's about it. Well, it's like with uh, with the Brickwiz. Remember when the the five uh, first battle packs first came out, and I think it was Blaine's World or something like that. Just because like he knew him quite well, Blaine's World gave him this incredible deal where. If if he bought all the battle packs, he could keep the figures, and Blaine's World would get all of the parts, and he'd give him like fifteen quid, essentially fifteen twenty quid. Yeah, for each battle pack's worth of part, which is ridiculous. It, when you think about it, like the set alone in England costs twenty five. Yeah, 
and and you would never i doubt you would really get that like a brooklinker offering no you i don't know it's just she's annoying and he was obviously only doing it for a certain amount of time for a certain amount of battle packs and obviously um i reckon the brick whiz probably took most of those yeah blocks, if you will. Like I've, I've managed to sell a few of my vehicles for like 10 quid yeah well, exactly. uh, that's a really nice price yeah, exactly. But it's, it's so it's cost me fifteen pounds for six figures, which like I could resell the figures for a lot more than fifteen quid. See, that's what I was thinking of doing with the the I'm going to call it the three thirty second pack because um, the Osoka AAT just sounds mm -hmm. funny to me. But I was thinking like the money that I save from not getting these other sets, if I were to, I could buy one of those because I've got three and I really want to have like six. I think. Yeah. So then I can stand them up. And I was thinking, I wonder how much you can sell the AAT for. I know you can sell a Soka for about 10 quid at least. Yeah. So Cause that brings the set down to 25 quid. Exactly. Just that alone. And then if you, I reckon you could sell the AAT for a tenner. Yeah. And then that's 15 quid. And then you've got two droids, which is like a pound each or one pound 50. Which is funny because it does actually mean that you're still paying like thirteen pound for that three thirty second trooper. I know it's <laughs> ridiculous, isn't it? Makes you think you may as well just get like um, a, a decaler to just decal you a load of three thirty second helmets. Helmets, yeah. I just want to read out Boxy's comment. He says, uh, "You're both better than MNR. You're just so friendly and have a really nice community." EMG and UCS. Thank you very much, Boxy. Now, <laughs> honestly, that means a lot. It is a really nice comment. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can. Um, say boxy how's the uh how's the mock going of the att if you're still in the chat that is there we go we're now face cam i'm gonna oh yeah. i put it on the floor because it's just you a... finished the set I, I finished both the sets yeah my I, I excuse my hair i literally like i was having a bath i got out the bath and then quickly <laughs> dried it to do my live stream oh, um my but hair. this is the little the Micro Millennium Falcon. So this is actually a pretty decent build. Like this is nice little engines. Oh, that's cool. Like to be honest, to be honest, if you can find the set really cheap, it's got some amazing parts. Like mm. I don't know, I don't know the part count, but like if you could pick this up for like a, I don't know, what, I don't know what the cheapest would be. Maybe like six quid, seven quid. It's got plates, isn't it? Which is one good thing. Great. Yeah, like, like if you could, if you could sell Han Solo on, even even if you could get a couple quid for him. Yeah, like this, this, the pieces in here are actually pretty decent. So that was that was a good build. I enjoy that. And then this is this is the Tie Fighter. It's actually bigger than I thought it'd be. It's still tiny in comparison to like the I mean, other ones. I was looking at some pictures, and to be fair, like the wings aren't terribly out of scale, but no. I, I think there's just not enough. Um... Like there is it with the with the with actually I'll use the Stormtrooper because it's white on black. Then like there's the comparison. I mean, it's, it looks, still, it's not bad, but it needs to, it should still be bigger. It looks really well finished off. I'll give them that. Like the, like the, the, I like, I like the, the, like the, uh, the design around the middle. Yeah, definitely. And is that a printed piece in the center? Yeah, that's a printed piece in the center. And then there's a printed piece on the top as well. Cause you there's, could, no, there's no stickers in the set. That's cool. I mean, you could actually um, switch those printed pieces out for, for like for these, and then you could use the printed pieces on the side for like yeah, a, and, and a mock or something like that. But yeah, it's got well, you got that that can open up, so that's quite cool. Yeah, well, good for easy access, I suppose. Yeah, no trouble so I'm, I'm thinking of making a mock. So what I'm going to do is build um, you know, the staircases that go up to them, so you can have the top open. Hmm. Um, or I might even I don't know how you do that. No, you, you could do a really cool mock, and it'd be not it wouldn't even be too hard for you. So there's a scene in Rebels where, I don't know if you remember, but there's one episode or a couple of episodes where Zeb and uh, Sabina steal, uh, actually I think it's Zeb and Ezra steal a TIE fighter, don't they? Yeah. And then they go and leave it somewhere. They're told to dispose of it, but they yeah. never do. And Sabine like does her yeah, stuff. She's, yeah, she sprays it and makes it all colourful. So you could like do a, like a recolor of one of those, and then that'd you be could, quite sick, to be honest. And there's a scene where the ghost meets up with them. Yeah, and it's like on a sandy planet, so you could use your pieces from the Tatooine. 
just take off the sand crawler and the razor crest and set it on there. This is my mark. Yeah. And then just like keep just re redesigning it all the time. Well, people do that to be fair. I mean, like for example, Lifebridge Studios, he, he does it. I mean, he says he does these like massive F off mocks, right? And all he actually does is put a couple of tan base plates, sprinkle some blue one by one studs and then put Lego sets on there. Yeah. He said, oh, how I make my like 40 by 50 you know, huge mark. base plate mark. Yeah, I mean, hey, you can see you can see little Grogu. Wait, wait, oh, I can't, I can't do this. There, that's a Lego Grogu. Yeah, from a distance, it actually looks like a teddy. He does, doesn't he? He's really <laughs> cute. But yeah, yeah, I managed to managed to put him up on the shelf, which is yeah. pretty cool. I can't. Um, but yeah, I built I built uh, this as well today and last night. Oh, you built that today. Yeah, well, I've done a stop motion. Oh, that's close. You did a stop motion of building that. Yeah. Damn. It's Damn. Like, there's only four hundred something pieces, so it's actually not that bad. Four hundred four pictures, though, isn't it? Uh, it was nearly close to a thousand by the time I finished. A thousand pictures. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I mean, the five of first and the eighty eighty was about eight hundred photos each. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. It took it took eight hours to do the five of the first and the eighty eighty. I started last night about half ten and finished about half midnight, so that's two hours. And then I started today at half nine and then finished about half one, so that's another three, so about five hours for this one. Hmm. So it's not too bad, but it's got some really cool features. Like uh, the only thing I hate is this. So that's the thing that I was going to mention in my comparison of the two models. Is that on the, on the 2010 one? I don't know if you have it or have had it. No, I don't. Um, I'll see if I can get it out. <laughs> it's just built in the box. <laughs> well, I, I, obviously, I've got both of them here, like, in yeah. the box, like, ready to do a review. But it's one of the things I've what, what had in the video that the old one, I don't know if I can... Uh, that slides so much further forwards. It does. And I don't, loads I don't of know if you can see it very well in there. Oh, the clip. There's, there's that piece. Yeah. Where it's like the rubber one by two. Yeah. The ethnic bits in it. So when this goes back, it kind of pushes down on it a little bit. And, and then matches it. Yeah. Whereas this one is just. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't like that. I felt like it needed some form of clip. I have just. Mm, I was going to say, I just thought there is sort of a way that you could fix the problem you could maybe add like a, a two by two jumper plate on the yeah. top there and then a like a flap piece i forget what they're called so that when you close it you can flap it flap it down yeah, like a little hinged piece yeah and then it sticks together and it will look flush but yeah i was thinking something like that but yes yeah, so it's this is this is a lovely build but yeah i've got the stop motion i did today so i'll be releasing that soon that's a really cool video i i got tiktok you got TikTok now. Yeah, I have see. you followed me? <laughs> I to be honest, mate. I literally like made the account and then posted. Then that was it. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it broke off. Let's see. <laughs> I put the. I, uh, I hope it doesn't disappear. But this I, is what I get on the. This is what I get daily. Plus ninety nine. Like that's as that's as many notifications as you get. Ninety nine plus. Yeah, notifications. Oh my god! So this is what I. Come on, <laughs> like literally, it's followed, 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 followed. They're following me, they're following me. There's still like more people are following me. Damn. It's just every, like loads of people following my account. About 34 people have seen my TikTok. I can't believe I'm saying those words. Wait, what TikTok did you do? I'm gonna see if, are you just UCS? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna find you. Pro, That's I haven't true. actually, do you know, I've just realized. This would be a sneak peek at my my next video because I haven't actually released this. You have two yet. followers and one like. I'm gonna go like it. I think I actually have, well, according to mine, I have one follower. Oh, I followed you now, so you have two. If you refresh now, it, now I have two followers and two likes. Yeah, and thirty-eight people have seen my TikTok. That's decent. It's got, it's got the um, it's got a really funny uh, sound. I, I I watch it afterwards. I'll, uh, I'll stick it on. But yeah, my, my highest viewed video has 317,000 views. That's crazy. Mental. And I'm at 
uh, 11.7 thousand followers. Hmm. And I've had 105.9 thousand likes. I've never... Know. I've never been like the guy to be able to get that kind of stuff. Like I've had friends that back in school, you know, you just kind of like, oh yeah, they're like the popular one. Yeah. They're just everyone follows them. They've got like 3000 followers on Instagram and stuff. And it's like, they're just a normal person. How do they get? Yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, I'm kind of the same. Like I never thought I would ever have like this kind of response to, to things. Mm. Like I honestly thought that my, um, my account would just get a few views and then that would be it. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's doing, it's doing so well. Like I've, I've, I've now been able to apply for the, um, the creator fund. Mm. So, um, yeah. So hopefully now I should start earning some money from it as well. Um, Brandon, Br <laughs> Brendan brick productions. Hi, thank you for joining the stream. Yeah, uh, I definitely cool. need to get like some form of slogan for when people join the stream. Um, <laughs> like David Dobrik has the vlog squad, but, you know, this isn't a vlog, oh, so squad. yeah, it's the vlog squad. Um, it's good. Well, because David Dobrik has like his group of friends, but they're always like everything they do, they record. So basically, they are the vlog squad. So their whole life is basically just on film. Well, right. And what's they're they, always filming they, for the content. So they're always like messing around and doing stuff. They don't really live a sensible life. It's like, <laughs> oh, here's your new Ferrari. And you're like, what? Like, how are you just <laughs> giving out Ferraris all the time? Who, who's David Dobrik? Uh, he's like Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award. He's like a really big YouTuber that gets like so many like millions of views. Oh, like right. he posts a video like once a month and he gets like a few million views. <laughs> but he gets sponsored so much. He like he was in a Ferrari dealership and he phoned up the company that sponsors him. He's like, I want to buy a Ferrari like for myself. And he's like, Will you go halves? And they're like, Yeah, right then. And they just went halves on a Ferrari for him. I'm like like hello can i have half half for a ferrari please like <laughs> I, I would just love to like have that much money then not buy the ferrari then buy myself a cheaper car <laughs> yeah. so expensive as well so much money to just... exactly it's probably like a million so five hundred thousand. like you could buy a fifty thousand pound car and still have four hundred fifty thousand pounds for a house like yeah. i can buy myself a house and so much lego with just the money for a ferrari as well damn uh swipey says it must be weird wearing a hoodie with your face on it not really I mean, what, what's also weird is then you kind of like take Fashion off the hoodie off. and then you're also still wearing your face. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a bigger version of my face. It's just, <laughs> but it's good because when I walk walk around with my with my face mask on, people are like, they're looking at my eyes and they're looking at my shirt like, is that you? I'm like, oh, it's me, don't worry. Uh, yeah, you can... That kind of works. Could... I just have, like, just sit around on the corner street. You could do a limited edition of the of the uh, the emblem, but with like a mask, like I one of the COVID COVID EMG. <laughs> <laughs> that could be cool. But would Rex be having it, or would it just be like just me, just my half of the face with a face mask? I guess you could just do both, just for the laughs. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, Swappy so says you better not have a tattoo of your face. Yeah, and underneath it is yeah, <laughs> it's just a tattoo of my logo. No, I don't, I don't. I would never get a tattoo. I don't like tattoos. Same. I just. Oh, can't nice. I just. I don't like them. I don't really like people who have them either. Mm. Don't really like people. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the thing I have. It, I think. I think it's part of my autism. I'm, again, I'm not diagnosed as being autistic, but like, I'm like you know, as a kid, your parents distill like rights and wrongs on you as yeah. a kid like to me if anything is done wrong it just like it completely conflicts me i'm like i go into a meltdown <laughs> so <laughs> yeah so people who have tattoos i'm just like no i mean if anyone has tattoos you're, you're wrong um i'm, I'm joking <laughs> apparently but, Rex um, had a respirator yeah. in in uh, season six i mean his face his helmet is the respirator isn't it Oh no, they plug it in, don't they? They plug it in when they're rescuing. Is that season six? Season five, they do when they're rescuing. Um, uh, what's he called? Is it top? When it when his chip, his inhibitor chip malfunctions, uh, and then yeah. it's him in fives, and they're going to rescue top in the separate shuttle. That's him. What's that? No, oh, it's series. For some reason. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, top. Yeah. Don't know how that happened. I don't know why we've gone from we've gone from two hours fourteen and we've got two years. The the the, the stream is just right. 
I don't know, man. I'm going to have to go and break. I don't know why I keep having um, the urge now for like the last month to have a Lego city. <laughs> I've, I've I've wanted one for a while, but I have zero space for anything like that. I think that's the problem because I was talking to my partner about it, and you can't. You said, like, partner, so you know my addiction to Lego and how it's like really <laughs> Star Warsy. How do you feel about me expanding <laughs> to City? Like, <laughs> I want to buy expensive modulars that will definitely bankrupt me. But well, I was I was saying to her, kind of part of me wishes that I was into the lego modular line instead because i probably would have saved myself a lot of money well you would have saved yourself like 500 quid from buying battle packs well i mean exactly that alone i mean i could have bought like three i mean what is there like 18 modulars i think in total yeah and you would have bought yourself one modular <laughs> you could have you could have 20 battle packs on one modular i, I mean like if um if I if I wasn't into Star Wars, if I was yeah. just into modulars from the start, I mean, in total, it probably, oh probably... yeah, I mean, your Falcon, your UCS Cantina, the Sandcrawler, Ewok Village, well, like that, that probably mean... could have bought you most of the modulars right there. <laughs> the thing is, I probably could have, and you just and you just think like if you just had that, then you could buy like the road expansion packs. I just feel like the shame is like Star Wars haven't done enough, like. They're meant, they're like the biggest brand essentially yeah. in out of Lego and for for a time the Star Wars line of Lego actually kept Lego as a company running. Yeah, they kept the doors open essentially, and uh, back in the day, and you just think like Lego City have all these like little extra packs like minifigure packs, expansion packs, like yeah, building kits and stuff like that. Everything you can tie in. And, and with Star Wars, we get what like six or seven sets, and they're like just straight down the middle. Yeah, That's it's like we got a tie. We got the Tie Fighter. Then also with the Tie Fighter, you know, we got to have a good guy versus bad guy. So we're gonna bring out the X Wing, and it's like Trouble on Tatooine. What is this? Another? Why have we got a really crappy Poe's X Wing? <laughs> what is this? I've just seen this. It's a blue X Wing. Look at it. It's a blue X-Wing, and it's the smallest X-Wing ever. Oh, it's the Junior's one, isn't it? Like, we've already got an X-Wing. Why are you bringing out another X-Wing? <laughs> and the thing is, right, they bring out the just the Junior's one, but it's stupid because the whole idea of making the the bigger X-Wing cheaper and less pieces and easier to build... It, it's and so kids can have it. ...was so Junior's could have it and play with it. So... <laughs> why make it again? Why wasn't why wasn't that junior set turned into a battle pack? I don't know. I honestly don't know. What well, we I want to welcome back Lego Legion and Boxy Builds. Um but Lego Legion will probably have to go again soon. Oh dang. Not a problem, man. How come? I don't know, he's betraying us. Oh, Swipey's hmm. got to go as well now. Oh, everyone's leaving me. Well, I probably won't string for too much longer anyway. It's um what time is it? Yeah, that's cool. Nice nice early. Day. early. Um, Feels a lot later than it is. But uh, yeah, I got to go by whatever twenty one forty five is. So nine forty five, quarter to ten. Yes, yeah, this hour then. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna text you over or not text you over. I'm gonna send you over a image of what I was working on today. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling it's gonna be something five letters long, begins with P and ends with Y. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh. That would have been a funny meme. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, I don't know if it's sent or it's sending, but I I sent it. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what's this is what's coming out soon, like very soon. Ooh, I forgot to tell you something. Oh, that's cool. Is this just? Uh, is this? Um, I'm assuming I'm not allowed to say anything. I mean, uh, yeah, for the minute. Is it finished? For the minute, yeah. Is is this meant to house what it is, or is it going to be for a mock type thing? I mean, that pretty much is the mock for now. And but I have I have made a video which I'm going to be releasing maybe in two days time, so we can <laughs> kind of talk about it more in two days time. It's, but it, yeah, it is. It's a very basic build. But if people want me to make it into a proper build, then I'll do my best to do that. <laughs> it is one of the more basic builds I've seen. It literally is. It's just a showcase. <laughs> For my for for what it is, but it looks really cool. I'll Thank you. 
it's three base plates long. <laughs> it's like really cool. How did you get four of those? If you know what I mean. Uh, because I have five of the sets, five of the oh. anniversary sets. <laughs> true, true, true. We still have Scott as well. We're back up to five viewers now. This is this is doing better. Ooh. So I wanted that is that does look really cool. How many is that? Oh, uh, because no, uh, it will give it away. I'll, I'll, I'll type. I'll type it in the. I'll type it in the chat. Do that. I actually <laughs> need to. I haven't ever done a draw. To be fair, I haven't ever done a clone army video. And my clone, army, first one. my clone army video is popping off. Actually, I checked it? It today. And it's got like two hundred and eighty views. That's, well, how's that doing better than mine? Mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you've gained like a hundred subs in the last five. Years. I have. I I think that's more from TikTok though. I think I'd much rather have the subs. Yeah, true. But I mean, in all fairness, my uh, my my TikTok that I uploaded onto YouTube has is currently sitting at. Um, let me find it. Videos. I think the link tree idea is a very good idea. Yeah, my my Palpatine's clone army short, the one that is just Adele singing, is currently sitting at eighteen thousand views. See, I didn't realize that it had music to it. I just thought it was a silent video with like. Oh no, it's proper. It's is it the one? Do you remember when they made that meme? Like when the like was it? I don't know if it was Force Awakens or something, but it's the one with the Darth Vader scene. And it's got Adele. It was what, years and years ago. I don't remember. Like that, I, I did kind of. I didn't bring it back, but that was an old meme that I've like redone. All right. You're on two hundred and thirty-three subs. I can't see it in a second, but that's that's cool. I mean, I I like them. I haven't like like I said. I only just holy moly. I've just seen your text message. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is an extra like nine, but unfortunately, I did, I did kill a, I did kill a, a, a head of one of them. I, I snapped it by accident. Mm. I need so to I start. Need to get a head for him. I need to start writing down my ideas because I've got some cool ones. I so far have um, boxy mock thing. I need to go see his boxy mock competition. Oh, <laughs> that's I what I've got written down. <laughs> I actually do need to do that at some point though. But I do have five drafted TikToks ready to upload. But I'm doing one a day, so I've got five days worth of TikToks. But what I'm finding is it's so much easier to do a TikTok because it's literally a minute, and all you got to do is get you get like get your audio, record a thing, and then you're done. Like it just upload it. Yeah. And you can just like use hashtags, and then that's it. Like that is it finished. A bit like Instagram, take a few photos, add a caption, done. Like YouTube, you got to. There's so much more preparation that's got to go into a YouTube video. Yeah, that's why I kind of gave up with vlogs. Yeah. Because like, I, mean, I think vlogs are quite a good idea when you've got a lot of stuff going on if you haven't got a lot of stuff going on then it just ends up being like oh, i'm eating a sandwich <laughs> you know, it's kind of like you don't really know what else to talk about to fill the, the content i think my problem was like i I think i had like a, a fair amount of content when i was doing them i i always thought i had less content than when i actually got to the end of the week and i saw you start them, editing i've actually got like a lot of content here but the problem is the fact that it just takes such a long time because you have to get like a million videos and then get them all in the right order. And then you have yeah. to edit them all into place and then like do the, just the editing alone is crazy. Yeah. And I, I found that I was I was ending up just doing the vlog each week and not posting another video. Because you're just yeah working on the content for the vlog, and 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 then I spent the the box my right time. Up. And then okay. I spent all of my time like, editing the vlog, and by the time I'd done that, I was knackered and out of time. So I thought I can't just have a YouTube channel where the only video is a vlog. It's just <laughs> vlogs. It's it's not a UCS vlog, you know. Exactly. It's so so I kind of stopped it for a bit, and then you know in turn I've ended up doing other stuff. Yeah, exactly. We have Boxy Build saying, I hate editing. And then we have Goofy saying, I love editing. <laughs> it's a very controversial thing right there. <laughs> I think for me, it depends what I'm editing. Some videos I'm like, oh my God, I know I've made so many mistakes. I have so much editing to do. <laughs> but I like the fact now that I have the, my new MacBook with the touch bar, you can literally hit just split. So as you're mm. going through, you're just watching through it and you just hit split. Because beforehand, oh. you had to keep doing the shortcut. It's just like, oh my God, it's taking nah. It's like, now you just press one button. 
exactly it's like that and auto like when you're trying to sync your music and your voice volume yeah that was a big problem i found as well although i still find that i have to have the music like like five percent or something. i have it, I have it on like four percent depending on what the song is sometimes the songs are really like fast upbeat and it's quite loud you're like yeah. okay down to like three percent other times you can have it like <laughs> four or five even mm. then you can still you can still hear the music and it's still like is that too high but then you uh, upload it and it's fine yeah for sure um, yeah definitely i always record a special audio tape to remove potential mistakes i mean I, I went for a period where I was basically recording my video and recording my audio separately. And then it took me ages mm. trying to line it all up. And I got to the point where I was like, I'm giving up with this. It's taking too much time trying I mean, to like sync everything up. You get some people, big YouTubers, and they they just don't even bother like cutting out their mistakes. And they still no. get their views and people love the video. So I think I think some big YouTubers, I, I don't want to like sound rude or anything, but they get a little bit big headed. And it's like, well, no matter what I post, people will like it anyway. Like, like you know with solid rick studios if he posts a video you know it's going to get a few thousand views yeah 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 just because Whereas, like for us if i posted a video and it was shit it probably only get like 20 <laughs> views like you, you know you know that's that, that's going to be the case so you have, really have to put your time and the effort into making mm. good content yeah but yeah um what have we got uh i'm back from the if he doesn't want program and one of a kind breaks i'm back from the tyrant school awesome Imagine oh, that's yeah. his actual school name, Tyrant. Is it? I don't know. I think he just means the tyrant of school, like he is. Yeah, I thought so. So I um I wanted to talk to you about. Do you remember Brick Freak's auction? <clears throat> uh, I was there for a little bit of it, yeah, because there's nothing there I really wanted, so I wasn't really there for a lot. <laughs> so I thought the same, right? And well, by the time I got there, there was two figs that I was quite interested in. Well, actually, there was three, but um, I I was kind of like 10 percent whether i was going to get them or not and yeah. by the time i got to the auction two people had already or the the two figures that i wanted most had already been sold and that was there was a, a winter shock trooper i think yeah and then there was another kind of blue style of clone trooper that he'd done like a um uh, I can't remember what it was called, but they, they but they were both white and blue, and it looked quite cool. One of them had like the the macro piece and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know one. And they were the first two figures that sold, I think, or within the first two or three. And so obviously I'd missed out on those, so I stayed in the the auction for a while. And the third trooper that I was interested in was I think his I think it's Hound, the one who's an half trooper uh yeah i think I, I remember the one he's red and white yeah um, and he ended up selling for like 80 dollars, and then that was the guy who was a fake bidder yeah so i didn't get any of these guys and then it can't um, but i you know um I, i'd had a glass of wine <laughs> and I mean, it was like one of the last auctions of the night and he put up the bad batch <laughs> um, right. there, there was this kind of like um, there was like a big hype building up to it and I wasn't even like I said I wasn't even like interested but I, I thought they looked really cool yeah and everything. Um, and he said starting the bidding off at $125 and like no one put a bid in for a bit for like 20 seconds and then I thought well I mean I could get I guess I could just put a bid in I mean It'd be funny when it started off, someone will go above me. Yeah, so I put a bid in for one hundred and twenty-five dollars, and all of a sudden I was like, "You know, it was." Yeah, like, I'm selling one hundred and twenty-five dollars on four figures right now. <laughs> and, then, and then I thought to myself, "Well, to be fair, it's not actually." Um, uh, well, he actually said to me, "We obviously have to bid above one hundred and twenty-five. Apparently, I mean, a start and bid is a start and bid. If if the start and bid's one twenty-five, your bid's one twenty-five. Well, he said that. Um, apparently, like the the rules are, the starting bid's one hundred and twenty five. The first bidder has to bid one hundred and twenty six at the very least. I think. I mean, that's that's. I don't know what auctions he's been to. But I, I ended up. Uh, I just I did that, and then obviously someone else bid in front of me. They bid like one hundred and twenty seven or something. Um, no, they didn't. No, I bid 126, and then Matey Boy jumped straight up to 152 dollars, right? And yeah. I left it for a while, and then he was like ending, ending, and I was like, I, I don't know what came over me, but for some reason, 
for some reason I said $153. <laughs> and, and all of a sudden my heart was pounding. I was like, oh God. Yeah. But, um, at the same time, I was like, it, I actually quite like the figures to be fair. They're really cool. And when you think about it, it was five perfectly full decal troopers, including the weapons. For so it's like $30 a fig, which actually ain't too bad. For $150, the full bad batch squad fully perfectly decaled with all like the gizmos and everything I mean, yeah i was i mean the only person i think who would actually probably be selling that would be mini figs for your cac yeah so that first of all both american second of all they would probably be selling it for double the price and it's dollars as well so it's yeah like 30 dollars for a figure which is what like 27 quid i think not even that it works it worked out it was going to be like uh, 112 pounds or something, I think. So, when Not you think bad, about it, five figs, it were it was Echo. Uh, is it Echo? No, it's fives. No, it's Echo. Fives. Is it Echo? Echo, yeah, well, the uh, yeah, yeah, five, Echo with yeah, the five, five is the archer, but Echo blows up. It's true. So, it was five, it was um, Echo, Echo with the mechanical arm, yeah, and then the other four with everything that they come with. And um, I thought well, £112 for that, when I mean, you think about it, it's actually a really good price. Like, you would never get that price anywhere. So I was yeah. kind of happy with it. And, um, and I've already got 11 figures that I'm waiting for from him as well. Yeah, so you'll get all of them in once, hopefully. So he said to me, yeah, if you wait till the end of the month, then I'll have your other figures decaled and I'll send it all as one hit. And then we found out that Matey Boy who bought half the figures was a fake bidder right uh, and it just happened to be i did think at the time right jumping straight up from 126 dollars to 152 is a bit of a big step for an auction yeah turns out that the guy who was the other guy who bid against me was the uh was one of the was the fake bidder yeah so it ended up being that um well i was talking to brick freak and he agreed that i could have the figures for my first bid because no one else bid for the figures nice yeah and if you think about it that was the the last legitimate bid yeah so i ended up getting full bad batch squad for 92 pound that's really decent that's in well yeah, my... that's, that's just because of a glass of wine <laughs> incredible so it was going to us even if i resell them yeah, I could resell them for 150 probably easily. Yeah, exactly. Because even if the, even if they do bring out a bad batch squad like with official Lego, they still cost them anyway. They're still worth more because like a full decal custom. Exactly, and I highly doubt they're going to bring out Echo. Either. Probably not. Not with the not with the arm. Hmm. But uh, yeah. yeah, I yeah. just want to go back through the chat for a minute. Um, Why do people keep saying 22? I don't know. One of the comic books asked, EMG, has anyone bought your merch yet? No, they haven't. I'm a little bit disappointed. Oh. It's really great quality merch. Someone someone should at least go buy it. Um, he wants to get some of it. Definitely go do get it, go get it. You can be the first one. You can you can have an exclusive shout out for being my first official customer. Um, one of the comic books, uh, I have the fake Bad Batch ones and they cost me like $10. <laughs> Well, I mean, they can't. I mean, as long as they're pretty good quality, but I don't expect it to be that great of quality if it was only ten dollars. Um, Lego Legion's got to go. Great scream, scream, stream. See ya. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Lego Legion. Hopefully, see you soon. I'll be doing another stream probably Friday, doing our brick cantina. Do you know what? One of my favorite bits of my whole mock was twinsies. I don't know why, but yeah, I just really, I I saw it on the internet when I was looking at like crate designs. They're so cool, aren't they? And I just thought to myself, I can't not add this in. It's just so nostalgic. I like the fact it's just sat at the front as well. Yeah. Like it was just placed there like really neatly. <laughs> just like that's where you would, you know, just kind of find it randomly in the game. Yeah. So I'm thinking like one, one of my, uh, one of my future mocks. I could do like I could go back to the old Lego Star Wars games on Nintendo and find like a scene mm. from the game, and I could recreate one of the. And scenes. then hide the minifigure in it, or hide the mini kit in it. 
Yeah, well, I, I could. I just thought it'd be quite a fun. I don't think I've seen someone do like a a proper real life Lego recreation of any of the yeah. missions from the old Lego Star Wars games. So yeah, it would be cool to see. Um, plus, half your work's done for you because exactly, you don't have to design it. The design's already there. You just have to recreate it. Exactly because and it's in Lego, which is even easier. But that's the great thing about the Lego games because they obviously built it in Lego. They built it so you could actually. Like it's really possible to build it. <laughs> yeah, so much easier. Um, mm. Boxy Bill saying thirty dollars equals twenty two pounds. That's why he was saying twenty two. Ah, oh, so the thirty dollars is a twenty two pound. Do you think about it, right? No, I don't want the camera. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Divided by five. I paid eighteen pound fifty for each of the Bad Batch squad. That's decent. <laughs> you think that's about really it. good mm. but like yeah because well, well, i was saying to you you know oh the bad batch that's going to go for so much money but then if you actually divide it per figure you're actually not spending too much oh yeah i, I was at first i had a full-on heart attack because so i was like oh my god i'm already in debt and then and I, I just was, made myself have even more debt <laughs> yeah and then i remembered wait right, hang on a minute this is dollars not pounds and then i also remembered and you always feel a little bit better there you're like okay this is dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah. pounds it'll be less mm. yeah and then, then my partner gave me 50 quid like she sent me 50 quid over which was really oh, nice buying it or for just well to like to pay towards it Oh, that's nice of her. Because at the time, she didn't want me to have a heart attack, so she sort of lightened the load. Just like, oh, here, 50 quid, shut up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what have um, I done? I've spent so much money. The incredible thing is, technically, I've only paid £42.50 for that's, that that's patch. Mental. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Yeah, I, I went to uh, Master Builder 42's auction the other day, the day before uh, Brick Freaks. Oh, and uh, cool. he only had a few custom figures. He had loads of decal sheets, but then he had quite a few like genuine figures. Mm. So I bought 12 um, B1 battle droids. I bought the first. He did a lot of 10, and I won it for $10, which was like eight quid. So I was like, happy days. It's weird, though. It got to $10, and people were saying out. I'm like, it's $10. These like droids sell for like £1.20 on yeah. Bricklink. So like, even if I went really? to $12, that's still a dollar a figure, which mm. is like you know cheap so i got i got 10 10 clone or 10 droids for um a dollar a yeah a dollar each 10 yeah 10 quid or uh, 10 dollars um and then i bought two more on claim so one pound claim for the for the droids i got 12 of those and then i also got um 10 10 more of these guys 10 more five of first clone troopers what are the new ones yeah how we he had he had uh 19 of them available 18 of these available no way. So I, I, bought, I bought a lot of 10. I didn't know that anyone was selling them. Yeah, so not I guess, guess how much I paid for this figure. Uh, five pound. Close, four pound fifty. Four pound fifty? Four pound fifty for, for this figure. How? Yeah. Well, because I, I, I said to him, like he said, um, do 10 for 50 quid. And I was like, I'll do them for four, um, I'll do them for like forty five. And then he said forty six. <laughs> and then afterwards, I was like, I'll only do it for forty five. He's like, yeah, right then. <laughs> forty five, even 45 if forty five quid for, for ten for ten pounds. Even, even fifty quid was a good price. <laughs> I know, and I got them down for forty five quid. So I was like, happy days. <laughs> Damn, that's that is. No yeah, so in total, I paid for twelve droids. Like even the the maths doesn't add up for twelve droids. Well, actually, yeah, twelve droids and ten clones. I paid fifty six quid. <clears throat> that's incredible and that's with shipping as well so i paid 56 quid for and, and you already uh, got them. 22 figures yeah and it was like literally like net well it's first class large envelope and it took like two days to get to me Fair so uh pta says sorry i was gone so long was in a zoom meeting for scouts that's all right man this late as well crazy Boring. no i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> well it's now gone quarter to 10 so Ooh. You need to you need to make a move, but I'll also make a move Ooh. now. Um, just because sure. I'm going to go and break down some sets whilst watching the Freemaker Lego TV series. Freemaker, I'm going to go and watch the uh, Bad Brick. Ah, yeah. I yeah, I can't. I don't think I can be asked for that. <laughs> There's a funny image on it, and I normally see SW over there. So yeah, I just say hey to him. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just dip in and out for like 20 minutes. 
Yeah, that's fair enough. But yeah, I want to thank everyone for coming along. We're up to six viewers. How are we up to? Oh, we're down to four now. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to thank everyone for joining and stopping by while I build uh, my two amazing sets. Um, yeah, really cool. yeah, tomorrow I will be building this on TikTok. Not sure when. I'll probably just go live, probably about the same time. Um, and I'll just be sat over there building that. So if anyone has TikTok and wants to join me, I'll be over there. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to do it for the like first time, get a pretty good set going. Um, but yeah. Buy my merch if you want to help out my channel. Go donate at Patreon, um, and then also don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to UCS as well. And yeah, yeah. his all of his content as well. It's been fun. You subscribe to all of my content, everyone. Subscribe to all. <laughs> Add to me. Go, go. Subscribe, follow, and like, and share, and and donate, and buy. Share the love. Yeah, share the love. Yeah, um, yeah. So I'll see you all very soon, and then I'll talk to uh, UCS later regarding uh, Brick Cantina. But sure. we'll be doing that Friday, so that'll it's be good. We're gonna get back into the swing of doing it. Doing it. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, there was never like a taking a break, like with the Brickheads thing. It is literally just like I, th I think it's the fact because it was Christmas Day, and then it was New Year's Day. It was it was just landed on two like holiday days where you're going to be having a bit of a drink and a bit of a family time exactly like for me i was with family for all of it so i i didn't i wasn't really um when new year's i was at my girlfriend's house so i, I didn't have my laptop or anything with me anyway so i couldn't even i'll just be there with my phone like hi <laughs> sat in the cupboard somewhere like mm. so yeah it's a little bit different but uh yeah hopefully i'll see everyone very soon i'll see them friday and uh or if not see you tomorrow for tiktok sweet but yeah cool i'll see everyone soon